So those of you just joining us or who may um, have missed portions of last night episode, last night's, well, not last night, last week's episode, the party fought Baba Lisaga, the witch of the swamp of Berez. Um, they learned that she believed herself to be Strahd's mother and helped him in the construction, well, without his knowledge, helped in the, in the construction of the Heart of Sorrow, this device that is preventing Strahd from taking any damage when the party fights him. So with that solution in hand, knowing how to disable the protections and how now that they need to destroy the heart, the party returned to Arjun Vosholt, their temporary home where all of their allies had gathered. A company of druids, um, sent by their friend Saurev, as well as the entirety of the Order of the Feather, a group of were-ravens that they had befriended and helped out throughout the campaign. The party now stands with one, pretty much one final objective before them. It is time to go back to Ravenloft one last time. Their allies have assembled a great table is set before them and their allies await maps splayed across resources gathered and they await your commands wondering just how you intend to get back into the castle and accomplish what it is that needs to be done silver seven the floor is yours all right. they all look at you expectantly Sort of, sort of lean over to uh, to Claire and I say, I mean, maybe we really shouldn't say anything if we want to keep their confidence up. We usually maybe. just do things by the by the skin of our teeth. We, cannot, we don't really plan. That's not really us. It tends to be helpful when there are more than just a few people involved I, I know i know the concept of planning of course but uh, i mean you have i've to, heard of this concept of you, planning you have to admit <laughs> we've never done it not once okay it's kind okay. of true <laughs> in our defense we have planned to set things on fire and we have done that well that's a plan i'm comfortable with if that's what you want to say then oh i'm 100 percent on board all right I'm gonna go up to the chair at the front of the table. Um, I'm gonna look at the maps. Wow. Uh, if Jade, if you can show too, so the audience can see a little bit, I have placed in your journal, should be right at the top, the maps Ooh. that I sent you all previously today as well. That show, gives you a good idea of, without me having to describe with my hands right, unsuccessfully, right, right. the layout <laughs> of Ravenloft. Um, it should give you a good idea of how the castle is yeah. shaped. Mm -hmm. um, you should for... clearly be able to see windows, stairways, other entrance and egress points. For those uh, who uh, may not have been there or remember, um, Cyvor, in one of his first primo acts during his time in the campaign, came in and like rolled insanely good on making a map of Ravenloft for us. So... Um, it's uh, got some good intel there. You want to be cool and impress your friends? Take cartography. <laughs> friends. Said no one ever. Friends. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, let, let's not start that right now. <laughs> um, all right. Well, um, so everyone's in here right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> They are all okay. gathered. As commander so, of the Silver um, Seven, she's like, so I roll call. Anybody miss me? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably wait for everybody. Hand. Just to give our <laughs> real old Tom. Just want, and um, <laughs> Mardikov, Mardikov. Um, just Walt hasn't run off anywhere. <laughs> Angel face Marie. <laughs> Big, ugly, bug eating, <laughs> whatever, O'Brien. I love that movie. <laughs> Thank oh. you so much for that. Oh, okay. My um well i addressing the full assembly um i uh i think i speak on behalf of all of us when i say that we are deeply grateful that you're even here um let alone willing to help 
Um, this is this is not going to be easy. Um, it, the odds are not in our favor, but if there has ever been a time to band together and actually try this, it's now. This is the time, this is the place, these are the people. So whatever we've got, it is time to put it on the table. But the, uh, oh. I mean, this would also be a perfect time for anyone who wanted to know what it is we are about to do to eavesdrop. Is there any way to make this room more secure? Is a good question. I feel like that's part of why we never plan anything because then there's no plans to discover. I don't know why I did that. It felt right, but... Um, I look over at uh, Von Richten, kind of with like a... Eh? <laughs> like a, you got anything? <laughs> <clears throat> he um, looks concerned a bit and scratches his cheek. There are, of course, spells that could prevent the scrying and such, but... Well, the, o the only reason why I mention it is because when Strad sent his carriage to take us to dinner, it knew exactly where we were. And I can't think that there's any way he would have known that without some sort of magic. And, and if he could do it then, I don't see why he couldn't do it now. And that is completely fair. Yes. Um, it's... Does anyone have anything that can help with this? Maybe. All right. but, but we'll all have to gather closely. What is it that you are suggesting? A globe of invulnerability. Maybe that would work. be effective, yes. Uh, very effective. Um, is Are you worried about scrying on a particular place, though, or on a particular person. If Strahd were to perhaps place a sensor in the room, it would be ineffective, because the sound would pass from the, the globe. But if, for instance, one of you is more compromised than the other, keeping him inside the globe in case he wants to scry upon that person, then, well, we all I look Slow towards Jeswaldo. Jeswaldo. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> you did Jesse, it already. No. <laughs> best you've ever been. I'm gonna just sort of like pat Jeswaldo on the shoulder and cast non-detection. You have oh. non-detection. I do. That can do an entire room. It says that I touch. <laughs> what if she tried to read the whole, walls in the, room? the whole spell description for us so, and the audience? Go on. You guys, you guys, everybody <laughs> doesn't have these spells memorized. That was your homework. So, non detection, third level. For the duration, I hide a target that I touch from divination magic. The target must be a willing creature or a place or an object no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Got that, Jesse? Well, <laughs> no, the second mad. part of that, a place, 10 feet, you could make this entire 10 foot place invulnerable to but, detection. But that won't fit everybody in, will it? As and long you're as the, only people who the... are speaking are in that 10 foot space. I mean, if, if you would like that. Then I could I mean, cast it so down. I imagine there's going to be a lot of meta tonight. So, I'll, uh, and since I have memorized all the spells, <laughs> right? <laughs> Someone did their homework. Scrying the way scrying works is <laughs> uh, the um, whoever is being scried upon has to make a wisdom saving throw, and depending on uh, several um, uh, things, that saving throw has minuses to it. Um, me, the player, knows that Strahd has a lock of my hair, which means my uh, wisdom saving throw, which is already abysmal, is going to be at a minus 10. However, he can scry on any person that he has seen and any place he has seen. So that is, I have, the, he has the best chance of scrying on me, but he could also scry on anybody he's seen. He's seen us all. But if he, so, 
But if you non detection yeah. would set up a ten foot space somewhere that he could not scry into. And while it might not fit everybody, it might fit this table. He would not be able to see it and he would not be able to hear anybody that was in the ten foot space. Plus, as long as we're able to gather like representatives from each of the respective groups, they could then disseminate the information to their people. Right. Okay, all this Indeed. is making and, too much sense, guys. And if you were to, for instance, um, do the table, um, a space at the table, you could all sit around the table looking at these maps and you could, um, whatever you're pointing at, whatever notes you're making, all of that could be included in the space. And Let's even if you were to not that, scry on a specific person, there are other divination spells that can create like a floating eye or a, to listen into somewhere um, that would be blocked from that. So it would be a um, safe little That sounds spot. like a good plan. Well, if we do need to make any rolls, thank you very much to Pixie who's given us all a d6 for tonight. So Hooray! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Very, oh my Pixie, god! Including like you, DM. Including literally you. everyone? Everyone oh, gets a D6. The only question Copies is tonight. then, um, DM, are you going to be a, as a stickler for components in your game as I am in mine? Because I believe that there is a pretty pricey component for non-detection. Have, we been, pieces of diamond have we been doing a lot of components, though? I don't... Up it's up to well, We it's haven't cost for, cast very many spells that require specific components, um, so it's not really come up very much yet. Mm -hmm. I've asked you to uh, keep track a pinch of diamond dust. Um, with everything gathered at your disposal right now, um, the sheer amount of treasure, even if you don't have it right now, um, there are numerous ritual casters, spell casters, and um, people trained in alchemy at your disposal as you have done a great job of curating your list of allies. The 25... Certain things might be an issue. This one in particular will not be an issue to acquire in a few minutes. So, so... All right. and so uh, that that said, um, you know, as much we'll do as much role playing as we can. But um, in the interest of time, you know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not having any problems. Step out and do meta. Just for, I, uh, I think that would that might be yeah. um, best if you want to at some point go in and ask a character something in character. Feel free to mm -hmm. do so, but. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you watching the party, they're, all their allies are assembled. I spoke to them a little bit in between, just about, here's some ideas of what you might send them out to do. And I left it to them to discuss amongst themselves and make a plan for today. So here we are. All right. So then I say that that means our cleric is up. What sort of slots do you have left for today? Well, I have, well, I haven't cast anything today. Not a one? This is the same day as... This is, yeah, we're still oh, on the day as Bobby Zaga. I personally, oh. Liz Culpepper, haven't cast anything today. I, I did remember you said about the long rest, though, so even I've clicked long rest. But I know I didn't cast much. Uh, okay, sir. Did you cast any fifth levels? You did a fifth level bless. I know that from Yeah, I know I did. Yeah, and I also, because I, oh, yeah, I did. Both my fifth level slots are gone. Okay. Um, do the mass I have one for. Yeah, mass healing left couple threes left and then i have one sixth level slot left well that's that's for your let you you don't have that until you get to 11th level but i'm at 25th level so oh well then <laughs> um so so yeah i have like a couple i have one fourth level and then so you could cast divination thank you do you have it prepared I do actually have it prepared. Holy crap. In <laughs> wow. So that's uh that's a remind me, that's that's not a question. That's that's a course of action, right? That's like if we do this, will it work? Or if if this yeah, happens typically, typically it's done as uh, sort of a yes or no from the DM as in like a well, that's portent. Or is yes. it Yes. So divination is like if you just go, you get if, a, you get a reply. You ask us yeah. a, a specific question about a single goal or event or activity to occur within seven days, and they get they answer the question. <laughs> so, I guess you could use divination to ask if. So I mean, like, if we want to try to split Strahd's forces, 
what would he defend? Would he defend Barovia? Would he defend uh, Valaki? Right. I mean, I feel like the question we need to answer is where is the heart of darkness? Can't do that with divination, unfortunately. Man, mother- All right. But we could ask whether or could whether we? something like an assault on Valaki would be enough for to draw some forces away from the castle, for instance. What if we used it to say if we started at the top of the castle and went down, to figure out if if we could figure out what part of the castle the heart is in by using divination, that might allow us a well, little bit more. So also, remember I don't, the other thing. Oh, sorry, sorry, Peter. I don't see why in divination with the spell divination, why you would not be able to ask about the location of something. Okay. Um, it's based on the spell's wording, you you know, you Yeah. Uh, you ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur in seven days. Um, as long as we get a yes or no answer back. So it has to be the question has to no, be the reply phrase. might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. But the Yeah. yeah. It's not yes or no. I hope um, it's a cryptic rhyme. I do want to remind us, um, because Ryan reminded me of this before we started, that um, there is the teleportation room in the basement that, if I recall correctly, does have a straight jump to the heart. Oh my god. Yup. So we might just re-roll for the third time our assault through the crypt. (laughs) Sneak back in the way we did the first two times and just pop to the heart. Pop so, to the heart! What we, in order to do that, in. we just need to be that's, airdropped in that by sounds like the were actually. Give it yeah. the um, a bad name. I would be shocked <laughs> if we didn't run into resistance, but like that is a definite way to get there. All right. So then the other question we could ask then is then where is the, where are our allies and where are, where is the um, lightsaber? (laughs) You want to, you want to do that? um, Maris? I would love to. (laughs) Okay. So so... figure out, figure out a way to ask where our allies are using Mm -hmm. a question that can, well, so, I mean, I guess it's up to Peter. It will, will do. It doesn't have to be a yes or no question. No, you ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days, which is interesting. Yeah. Okay, so for my own clarification, we're asking where our our allies are in the castle we're not going to ask about the heart we can't ask about that only one thing we don't have to ask about the heart no we don't have because to ask we about the know heart. a way to get there okay. how many how many fourth levels did you have left only one only one well in that case we have to decide is it more important to get our allies or more important to get the sun sword Oh, Ryan says sun sword, but Cyvor says ally. Yeah, same. Like, <laughs> how much do you like those? <laughs> Maris also says allies. Do it. Okay, so I cast divination. Uh, does does uh? But before we do that, does uh, <laughs> Athelflaed cast non-detection? I I do. <laughs> I, I sort of assume we're, we're that good. We're we good on so the table. That it was the table. Okay. We're, yeah. we're good on the table. All right. Coolsies. Wink. Wink. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Do you want me to post it in the thingy, or is that not necessary? Because we've talked. Um, about you can you can say it out loud. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um. So. This is just like a general cry to whoever's listening, correct? Is that how this goes? Do I need to like address anyone specific? <laughs> general cry. Um, it would be to your <laughs> deity cry? that uh, that gives you your powers. Oh, Saloon. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hi, Saloon. It's me, Maris. Um, I was just checking in. <laughs> And I'm just wondering, uh, I mean, I know you're all knowing. So um, where are our, our buds in the castle? 
Maybe Names. include their names. <laughs> names. Names. She's all, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was all knowing. <laughs> um, well, she is. Yeah. Esmeralda so, Davenir. Yes. And Esmeralda. Victor Volokovich. And Victor. Volokovich. Yeah, you can hear Claire in the background. It's like I'm on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you you um, speak your prayer to Saloon, and as before here, her light seems so, so distant. And for a moment, you think you may get no response. Just the way that, in the same way as during the day when even though it's clouded, the moments that are just the brightest, you swear the clouds are about to part, but they never do. It feels that way, but suddenly you hear a whispered response back. The captives are kept at the seat of power, where he sits in arrogance. Okay, so I heard back from Saloon, and uh, she says that the captives are at the seat of power, where Strahd sits in arrogance. So... That sounds like a throne room. It, that would be my guess. So, do you think Strahd is so arrogant that he wouldn't turn off his magical teleportation device that is a, clearly a tactical disadvantage when he's being invaded. I don't know that he can. Mm -hmm. Remember when you took that stone out, it was immediately replaced. Or not immediately, but soon after replaced. I don't know the nature of the magic and how much control he has over it, but he can't, for instance, just like take the stones out and not have them available. They pop back. Well, I hope you're right. I mean, I hope at I'm the very least... Too. He wouldn't want anybody attacking his castle to be able to get away the way we did the last time. Do I believe that it could be deactivated? Damn. Uh, make a roll in Arcana check. Uh, this is going to be a bit more difficult because it's based on your memory. Can I assist him? I'm proficient. Sure. I, it's probably Hoping not a 28 is all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. With a 28 on the roll, um, devices like this that you've studied before, um, this is not a magical item or anything. Um, it is a something that years and years of enchanting were likely put into. Um, so it is unlikely that he could simply deactivate it. It is a feature that has been conjured into this realm and would take, well, significant um, work to probably destroy, you think. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion about something. I could be wrong. Though, um, I will say with that role, sorry. Um, oh, sorry. Those no, gems finish. and that feature were, um, the fact that they were just resummoned each time and the, the fire was, the, you know, so sturdy in the, the um, stone pillar itself. However, the hourglass above it looked potentially fragile. Um, to what extent breaking a component of it would do? Mm -hmm. You okay. don't know um, if it could be actually just destroyed. Um, so when we were bargaining with Strahd um, for Jeswalder, and I gave up the sword, he mentioned something, I just remembered this, about wanting to put it to rest with his brother, because it was his brother's sword. And contrary to my or initial assumption, he seems to still have some degree of love for his brother, or respect of some sort. He initially asked me to throw it into Sergei's tomb. He might have put it there. It's possible, but remember that we couldn't get into Sergei's tomb because it was closed off. I know. So. It's just a thought. It's something to keep on the table. Uh, I don't know that we'll have time to do everything. I know. But I love the idea of using the teleportation room to 
Mm-hmm. Get to the heart. And if it doesn't work, then at least we know we'll be nearby Sergei's tomb. Maybe we can make lemonade and recover the sword. If 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 the teleportation room is, is turns out to be lemons, we we you've never heard that expense it must be a thing for mom. Is it, Sorry. it do you mean orange I... juice? No, I, I definitely need lemonade. You don't really see a lot of lemons this far north. Right. Um, Unless you're rich and they're being imported, and then, you know. But that's right, a different story. So, as we digest, <laughs> uh, the uh, um, the other thing then to think about is what What's do we do? Lemon? What do we do to, uh, to obfuscate our arrival? Because I'm sure that there's going to be some sort of defense that actually keeps us from. I mean. Like we, last time, uh, we used um, the wall of force to walk across the uh, the uh, moat, and while that could work again, it uses up a very powerful spell slot. Bear mm. Raven airdrop. Right. So, what do we do to make it so that we don't come under attack as we're being airdropped by? Um, w- it depends being, on where we're coming. As we're being <laughs> Well, so the the one thing that I'm not totally sure about, I can't remember. Um, on the um, map. There is that sort of little outcropping underneath the balcony that may be an accessible in, uh, entrance. Do, you, do y'all know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's where we uh, initially saw him when well, he we... was on the balcony up top, but there is a little doodad below it. Yeah, like the just just behind the, the temple in the back, that little sort of uh, like sort of courtyard slash balcony that's on the outcropping on the on the back of it, right? No, I'm talking it literally down the mountain from there. Uh, it's on the Ravenloft walls yeah. map. You guys can pull it up. Yeah, yeah. On the walls I, map. I, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Getting in for like the very bottom. Do we think that's that's in the bottom, like where the um the crypts and stuff were? Might be. Um. Hmm. So you're talking about this little like. Purple awning. Yep. 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 That's and the only way that we can get in that is not visible from the wall. Hmm. Possibly. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Um, it puts us at the disadvantage of not knowing the way once we get in, but I'm sure we'll sure. figure it out. Um, I mean, alternatively, we could. I don't know, have someone like set off an explosion near the front of the castle so that we could go in the way that we into that we've been before, which well, is around the back that near like end, should we have Maris use divine intervention to see if we can get Saloon to aid us in whatever way Saloon sees fit with whatever we decide to do to enter? I mean, well, I think that's like the best time to try to use it. Well, so you have you have two chances. You could do it yep. tonight before your long rest, and then tomorrow mm-hmm. before we actually leave. So, why don't you go for it? All right, let's do it. I'm just gonna call up my girl Saloon again. Does it uh, uh, is it an right instant effect though? Does it take effect when she asks? I'm wondering. I don't know. Let me um, check on the divine intervention feature here. Hi, this is your divine intervention. <laughs> this is an intervention, yeah. divinely speaking. <laughs> My gosh, but we asked for it, so thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. It's just a super posh intervention. Mm. Yeah, so it's... You, you, you ask Saloon for help doing something. Um, okay. I am going to say you wouldn't necessarily be like, hey, could you help us? Please, we need help doing this, something you can visualize. Could you do that tomorrow when we might need it? Um, it is an in the moment type of ability um, right. that you have to call call on her aid at a moment of well peril or whatnot. Okay. So. Okay, well, I'll sleep on it then. Well, you could, you could- <laughs> um, Give her a heads up at least. You could ask her tonight and if she, if you're successful, then you could ask her for the most effective way that we could get in without encountering encountering the fewest amount of uh, fewest number of um, obstacles. Okay. Or and if you fail, then tomorrow you could 
as something else. Okay. So I can ask how many times? Uh, Only so, twice, because well, so I have my two tonight. charges. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 right. You could ask ooh, once tonight, ooh. and if you're successful, then you we get information on... It is not a channel divinity. It's right. just, you can just do it once per day. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. And if so, yeah, so, might as well. so that would be that would be instant. So you could get the information of what would be the most effective way to infiltrate the castle. Right. Um, and if you fail, then you have a slightly higher chance tomorrow. You have a. It has to. It has to, you have to roll your level or lower on a percentile dice, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So slightly oh, higher tomorrow, when you'll on be a level percentile eleven. Percentile dice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's a it's a shot in the dark. Salud. Right, I'll try it. Shoot your shot. Let's do. <laughs> I'm not throwing away my shot, guys. Believe in you. It's been You're a while. Not throwing away my, my shot. shot. No, I'm not the power of Hamilton. Shot. shot. Just like the All right. So it sounds like we're rolling yep, a yep. d100. <laughs> we are. Okay. Good luck. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Ah, uh, okay. I bet that could be rewritten for Barovia. 35. Gosh oh. darn it. But she's actually level 36, so it's, it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's yeah. so, yeah. What's we so weird? We mentioned that in the reprise, like <laughs> yeah. the summary. The reprise, wow. In the so you, you reach out and you feel this energy you send this energy out to your deity to ask this for this help and you hear nothing and then you feel almost as if someone has tucked a lock of hair behind your ear you look thinking thinking of course of just waldo and nothing is there and then you hear i am looking forward to seeing you again Matt. <gasps> <laughs> No, thank you. That's not disturbing at all. Was she outside the square? Or no. no? Hmm. Maybe oh he like God. can sense when you're trying to like send your awareness like outside Possibly. the plane. I you mean, know? yeah, he is Barovia, so. He is the land. He um, says so. so. Okay, well, barring a better plan. He's also a creep. We're flying in. Yeah. So we do we use uh, the were ravens? So we're using the were ravens to fly us in. Do we use so. the druids to create fog or a storm, um, or do we use the druids to attack a village so to try and they, get Strahd to? Commit? A couple of them could give us some cover coming in. Right. That's that doesn't take a lot of druids to do a storm, does it? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it does. Well, it depends on how powerful they are. I'm thinking that, uh, they're that, we, we, that we've powerful. we've got we've got the druid gun and we've got the were raven gun, and we can right. fire each of them once. Okay. Am I right about that, DM? For the most part, um, if you thought of something more minor, they could maybe split up. But you know, okay. It's... No, no, that's totally fair. Um, giving us cover to come in might be a good idea. So that means then that we're not we would not have any way to split Strahd's forces. Um I And a thing I will I will say is as I was describing them and you are talking about the scouts, it is less of the walls are manned by dozens and dozens of armored undead, and more that there are flurries of bats circling about the castle. There have been a few undead seeing shambling about the courtyard more than usual and the wolves are howling and running through the wolves at a greater rate. It is not um, it is not a standing army at full alert in the castle so yeah, much as we're not looking at like a hell it is not, the castle is not asleep, if that makes sense. Um, it is Strahd's forces his, are his spies and such, and his un, you know, some of his undead. Uh, then then I'm for all for giving things. us cover as we come in then to make it harder for them to identify where we are and if and if uh maris gets to do if she succeeds in divine intervention tomorrow she can have that be cover and we can have the um the druids mm -hmm. attack valaki 
to try and draw away some of Strahd's horses. Mm -hmm. That sounds... That sounds like a plan, guys. Holy balls. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Indeed, Commander. Holy balls. (laughs) Is there anything else in the last bits of this planning that you would like to discuss? Would you have a landing spot, um, an entrance point selected? For when we... I I don't remember exactly what the landscape around it looks like. I know that it's sort of like, you know, at the top of like a ravine type situation. Could we possibly gather at a low point and fly up to it instead of coming down? It would be kind of like gathering at the village of Barovia. Yeah. Yep. The, the what? The, the village, village of Barovia. Barovia. Oh. I suppose. Um, I it can't is find the a village map. of Barovia itself does lie sort Very of at the bottom of away. what's called the Pillar Stone of Castle Ravenloft. Well, right. But um, if we're sending the druids to attack Barovia anyway to draw him out. No, they're going to give us cover. That's what the druids are going to do. Barovia is not, Excellent. the village That's of Barovia is not as significant a target as Valaki. Because mm. Valaki actually has like confirmed allies of Strahd there. Mm. Um, okay. So. Um, the only other thing I can think of is uh, I think at level 11, you get one six level spell, right, Maris? Yes. Hero's Feast. Oh, it's so good. Well, I already picked it, so. No, oh, I'm good for you. Breakfast champions. <laughs> Very um, exciting. I look forward to a good meal. Uh, the I mean, the only the only glaring flaw that I see could potentially be there is that that for whatever reason that little thingy that's sort of sticking out the little. Castle Ravenloft dewlap there that we're planning on going in that there is some sort of protection or it's it's like inaccessible. We don't know for sure that we can in, get in there. We know for sure we can get in mm-hmm. other places. In which case we just fly up and have them plop us on the um so plan the B. Balcony. Yeah, that's plan B is just fly up. Bloop. And 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 we're hoping that maybe having the cover from the druids gives us the option to yeah. have a plan B. Do we Yeah. Okay. Do we want to send either myself or one of the Were Ravens to try to get in first, so that way we don't all just slam Scout ourselves? Scout it in. That's not. Yeah, a bad yeah idea. you you could fly up and just take a little peeksy. Yeah, or, or at least see that. Try to, yeah. Try to Once enter we're the at room. the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and if okay. we can't get in, then either do some sort of sending or mm-hmm. something of the sort to. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. <laughs> okay. Abort, 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 abort. Yeah. Anyone uh, have any other thoughts that they want to share as we uh, close out this uh, this battle meeting? <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Claire. Yeah. I hope we win. Yeah. I hope we win. <laughs> um, um, Cyborg, you did something right. Don't worry. I won't <laughs> let it go to my head. Yeah, any closing thoughts from anyone before we sort of prep ourselves as a party? Because otherwise, as the commander of the Order of the Silver Dragon, I'm going to call this meeting to a close. That's so cool. Does like, anybody want to bury? one bury? I don't know about the rest of you, but I've had enough of this thing. I can't imagine what it's like to live with that hanging over you your entire life. These poor people. Not just life, many lifetimes. Indeed. Over and over. I'm gonna put a stop to that. It's a good thing we're all here then, right? Indeed. As Akantha would say, I'm going to shine a little light into this place. Find the light. I say we do just that, except we also burn it to the ground. Not for that. Because we are really good at that. Yeah. 
Because if we were in, a, in the real world, we would be dubbed as arsonists. <laughs> we would be dubbed as heroes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. So, sounds like you guys have a plan. We do. Right now? As you know, beds have been prepared for all of you to rest. Food as well. All that waits is whatever kind of rest you feel you can get before the next day. Um, I've got a couple things that are sort of on my to-do list before the evening's end. Okay. Um, so after we're done meeting, um, I want to find, I don't know, I guess um, the Martikovs, because they probably know the most people, mm -hmm. um, and ask them, like, who who in the crew is, like, their best craftsman? Like, who could do a, a nice, quick paint job for me? Hmm. Um, there is one gentleman here who used to make the labels mm -hmm. for the wines that were sort of um, sure. were adhesive, you know, attached to every wine bottle that they put out. Um, he is also <clears throat> responsible for painting and designing, carving the sign at the Blue Water Inn okay. um, before he was um, sort of estranged from that group. So okay. Um, so I want to go find him, and I'm going to present him with my massive shield. Um, and I ask him to, um, he can leave the seven stars that are around it, mm -hmm. but I ask him to paint over the middle portion of it and replace the standard um, eyes of Saloon with a crescent moon surrounding an orb of silver light. Okay. Is your shield um, painted? Is that what it was? The it was painted on that way. The eyes of Saloon. Yeah, that's the design on it. Okay. Um. And um, I also ask him if he could. Um, I don't know what materials are available, but if he can sort of scrounge up. Um, six. No, way! no seven. Um, armbands. Um dark blue and silver if possible yeah they so. can do that lovely meanwhile thanks to ug luck for 500 bits for the strad the musical episode made me smile big time thank you very much Aww. Aww. so if everyone wants to roll a d20 who hasn't got inspiration for it Yes, Do any of us have inspiration? This is for a D20 inspiration. Oh, okay, for D20. No, because we've all got a D6. But... D6? Be all sorts of inspired. <gasps> Did mine roll? Looks like Teresa's highest with a 19. Oh, Woo the... oh then mine's oh, 15. There we go. Rolled it twice. All right, Teresa, you have. True inspiration. Thank you very much, Ugluck. Ugluck right. is inspiring. Yeah, somebody's texting. Thanks, people complaining. It's not me. <laughs> I'm not that popular. Not me either. Ain't me. I'm always on silent. I lose my phone um, sometimes because of that. <laughs> so, right. So you have an order put in for a shield, um, shield resurfacing, and the creation of some uh, um, armbands for all of you. Anything else anyone can think of on the rise? Um, you take your long rest. I need to find Cyborg. Okay. Um, and take him aside. Um, question. Um, I don't really know what exactly the nature of your like organizational affiliations are outside of Barovia. Um, mm -hmm. but um. I, there's a real good chance that um, I don't walk out of this alive in the no. next coming days. I, no, don't say I that. hope, I hope to saloon and all of the gods that may or may not be able to hear me that that doesn't happen, but there's a chance. And so I want to go into this doing like, 
everything that I can the way that I know is the right way, the way that I've been taught. And that includes, with being a knight, having a squire. Oh, okay. I was a squire once. Did you want me to I find someone, or should I... Honored if you would. Me? I'm, you're, you are a friend, you are someone I respect. I don't expect you to, like, going around doing my dirty work, but, like, it just... It feels right. Uh, Claire! Uh, Commander! Uh, you're... <laughs> the, sir! Knight! Um... I would, I would be honored. That's, that's incredible. I, um, the monastery, they only ever let me just sort of sort and clean stuff. And you guys have, I mean, you guys let me fight and fall unconscious and, and, and plan and, and do all sorts of things beside you. I, thank you. I, I, I will, I will proudly serve beside you. Thank you. Um, Peter, I have a technical question. Um, we did not get anything from leveling up yet, right? Uh, you will get your level 11 powers come morning. Okay, well, we great. must have got some, because um, obviously Teresa cast non-detection. Uh, well, so the question I have is, do I have access to the spell slots that bumped from two second level to third level? <laughs> <laughs> um, or do I have to sleep for those? Um, would the gaining of these spell slots have changed? Obviously, we have the non-detection issue. Would that have changed other people's plans as well? No. Anyone? No abilities. No. Okay. No. I'm not bothered by it because you guys leveled up when mm -hmm. you um when you succeeded versus Babali Saga. So okay. Okay. so I will say yes. Um, um in that case I don't for have those to of you spellcasters if that makes a difference for Maris, feel free to um as well. So yeah, that's um, fine by me. So in that case, um I am going to ask Cyvor to when are we leaving in the morning? Early? I suppose when uh, whenever we have a chance to um, take care of as um, the crow divine innervation. Okay. Yeah. Um, divine innervation. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's all about the synergy of it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to ask Cyvor to join me for the next hour in Arjunvost's crypt. And I am going to utilize one of my nifty little third level slots to cast Ceremony. And utilize Dedication in the name of Arjunvost to grant him a d4 on all of his saving throws for the next 24 hours. You have I'm just going to meditate for an hour. I do. I have had ceremony from day one. <laughs> <laughs> she used it early on in the campaign. I know. That's right. I put some people to rest. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. So yeah, we're we're off meditating. For <clears> I mean, the next hour. Totally okay. meditating. <laughs> Some other good buffs, uh, um, in ceremony. Looking at there are two two other of you. Just kidding. <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Mary, Mary. It's wink. funny you mentioned that. So, uh, oh, Jasmine is going to go and find. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sorry if I ruined your. <laughs> go, okay, go ahead. I uh, he's gonna have his hat in his hand. Uh, sorry, uh, you're 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 studying. Um, that's that's great. I I will I will uh, see you in the morning. No 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 no. 
I, I finished the chapter. I'm at a good stopping point. <laughs> Just come on a Are, are you sure? You, yeah. we, the book is... It's really important, though, right? It's... When you I mean, said you were, you were going to be up all night reading it, I, I just... Um... Study break. She boops him on the nose. <laughs> right, right. Um... Fucking adorable. So, uh... Are you okay? Um, uh, you seem nervous. Could I have, could I have a drink? I, of course, uh, thank yes! You. Um... Maris goes and fetches the urn. Pours him a, a beverage, hands it over. Drinks it back, just one go. Oh, wow, wow. I mean, same, <laughs> but wow. Um, I uh, I was speaking with Claire uh, the other day, um, and I'm sorry if this is, I, <laughs> I can't really help it because of the situation we're in, but I wish I could help it. It's, uh, it's very sudden. Um, and I, uh, I really care for you. And I think up into it a few days ago, there were elements of my past that I was happy to forget and ignore. But I have a different perspective now, and I don't think I could care for you the way I do and not tell you about them. Okay. So, I have done terrible things, Maris. I led a band of vicious cutthroats, and they followed me willingly, not because I was charming or funny or handsome. I fooled myself into thinking that was why, but that's not why they followed me. They, they followed me because I was the worst of them. And they knew that as long as they were with me, they, they could at least point to me and say, at least I'm not as bad as he is. I've murdered and stolen from the poorest and most humble people. Oh, I mean... I, it doesn't really matter why, although I think it was just a way of trying to kill myself slowly. Well, I'm glad you didn't succeed. Why? I mean, we all have things in our past that we wish we could undo, things we wish we could forget. But all you can do is move forward in the best way you can in the time that you have now. And I, I know that you aren't a perfect person and that you may have done some bad things in the past, but you've realized now that those aren't the actions of the man that you want to be. And I trust in that. I used to think you were foolish, but now I realize that you're very wise. I still feel pretty foolish. (laughs) It's exactly what a wise person would say. Anyway, I um, I wanted to tell you that because I, I knew that I, I couldn't say the next thing I want to say w- without telling you that first. Okay. Well, I'm glad you told me. And the, the next thing I wanted to say was uh, I am in love with you. I'm in love with you too. Wow, uh, that was uh, really good to hear. Uh, because if you hadn't said that, then uh, I... I get it, I understand. What, okay, well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I... Uh, <laughs> I, um, 
assuming that we survive uh, this ordeal in the next, however, would you, um, would you like to become Mrs. Acarembo La Tombo del Fuego Santa Malipa Zacatega de Jode de Santa Cruz de la Rosa? I'm going to have to memorize all of those names, but yes. Yes, you are. They are yes. very important. <laughs> yes. So, what was that a yes? No. That's a you, yes. It's a yes. Wow. <laughs> um. So uh, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until after Strahd is dead, though, right? Yeah. No, that makes the most sense. It makes the makes the most sense. What if we die? Uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward, believing that we won't. Gives us something to fight for, beyond something more to fight for. I mean, we, we could always do it before. Like, like, tomorrow? I mean, it doesn't take long. Okay. So, so we could, we could get married tomorrow and, and we could look forward to what comes after. Yes. We get married. We, we could save that for after. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm okay. Well, okay. Um, yeah. uh, did we just like get engaged to and get we're going to get married in the morning? Is that really what's happening? Yeah. Or am I just dreaming? That? No, okay, you're not that dreaming. That really happened. Okay, that really happened. <laughs> so before, when I said you were really wise, I'm counting on the fact that you are still being wise now. This is a wise of decision. Course. Of course, yes. Right. I feel it in my heart. It is the correct decision. Thank you. Thank you. So excited. I will let you finish your book right. now. I was studying. So. Right. Okay. And I grab Maris and I kiss her. Yay! <laughs> Maris gleefully accepts. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I, are you still Cute. above me? <laughs> On the Twitch? She is. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I don't know how this works. <laughs> um, oh, it's a thing. I mean, good night, everybody. Can't really top that. <laughs> the cutest thing. Uh, uh, so, wow. With that uh, decided, anyone else have anything? Um, actually. I mean, I... hard to follow that. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go tell Claire. I don't want to die. What is she? She's a uh, uh, ceremony. You can find with me Cyber. after uh, yeah. after I'm done blessing Cyborg. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Alamus is looking for Cyborg to ask him to marry him. <laughs> um, <laughs> joking aside, thank you very much, Pixie, who's just donated ten dollars. <laughs> Oh, and said her heart is exploding. So we can have an awesome oh, wedding for ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. Everybody Dollar gets tree, a everybody. everybody gets a can of chili. It's <laughs> great. Yeah. So that, that's a that's a healing potion. DM anyway. Just wait. Oh, okay. Me. Cool. But thank you, Pixie. Yeah, Pixie. And, and Simon. Yeah. Of the common variety. <laughs> so by the time um, Cyborg has been initiated. Um, that's probably about the time the ums and uhs and oh, conversation finished up. And uh, oh. as uh, awkward as it was to start and wonderful as it did end. Um, not awkward, but uh, <laughs> nervous. It was wonderful. Wow. Charming. Thank you. You said what you said, Indeed. Peter. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't I, yeah. that's not that's not how I meant it I meant it in the it needs to happen that, because that'll be the first marriage at Lawful Stupid yeah. he's, he's so happy for you in all the campaigns yeah. so happy for you I really hope you're not making a mistake <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Cyber, I can't believe you would say that I mean we, we did it for the buff so <laughs> oh my god be cool let it be about love <laughs> sure Wow. Would it be about love? <laughs> Tax breaks in Waterdeep are great. Um, <laughs> and uh, you 
so soon after um, Claire comes back from um, where they were having their dedication ceremony, um, Sivor, how are you feeling and looking after all of this? You have been dedicated to the service of Arjunvast now. <laughs> Such is, a proud. This is the <laughs> best man. day of my life. <laughs> I'm going to be a knight. Yep. That's so cool. <laughs> Oh. oh, this is awesome. What? Oh, hey, hey, Maris, what's up? Oh, uh, I, I, hi. Um, I'm sorry. I, am I interrupt? Am I interrupting? No, I'm gonna be a knight. Oh my god! Congratulations! It's so yeah. exciting. Oh, having the night of my life. <laughs> You're so You're funny. Adorable. Hey, uh, Claire. No, yeah, what's up? Can I, can I steal you for a sec? Yeah, sure. Sure, um, Shyvor. You, you oh, Shyvor. <laughs> I'll see you inside, Cyborg. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, what's up? I don't want to die. <sighs> Promise not to be mad. But I n- <laughs> never feel comfortable with a conversation that starts that way. But OK. <laughs> Promise not to be mad. I but I am engaged to be married to Jess Waldo tomorrow. Ah, <laughs> you're not I, kidding. No, okay. no. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm really excited. I. I just. I'm just taking it in. Just taking it in. Okay. Just processing. It's fine. There's. Like bad processing or. No, it's more like. It's more like there's just so much going on, right now, that. Like, things like that. Like, marriages and love is wonderful, but like, in some ways, it seems so far away because of Strahd and just all of the bullshit that he exudes. But, like, that's actually really wonderful. Thanks. I just no? felt like. You know, we don't know what's going to happen. And no, I it's know true. that I um, love Jesse and I want to be with him. And you're the closest thing I have to family. So just wanted you to be the first to know. If that's what you want, and if that's what makes you happy, then you know that I'm going to support you 150%. 100 P! Oh my god, 100 um, <laughs> P! <laughs> um, I. I can do it for you. Would I learned you? the rights. I know. It's been a while. I mean, I would. Nothing would make me happier. All right. I All mean, right. I can. You sure you want to wait until morning? Because I could literally do it now. I. That. That. Just hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> Just since we had that whole conversation about trying to make sure we like, you know, reserve our resources for, you know, the bullshit that comes tomorrow. Mm. You know? Jesse! What? <laughs> okay, hey, peek into hey. the future. Starting. Jesse! I'm right here, Maris! Oh, they're already doing early. that thing where they try to talk from like three rooms away. Exactly. <laughs> hey! Um, Claire could marry us now. Uh, I uh, I was hoping that I would have uh, more time to think about what I wanted. Uh, okay. So married. There's now, a chapel. But... Like literally right there. That's what I. That's what I almost died. Yeah, but and you know this be... is this is the beginning of your new life. The new beginning with my best friend Maris, who if you hurt, I will shank you. She'll kill you. I guess I'm getting married. Yay! Great, Cyborg, round up the troops. <laughs> what, what's happening? Um, uh, they're getting married. Oh my God! Congratulations, you two. That's so exciting. Thank you. I'm so oh, excited. Thank, thank you. 
Thank you very so much. I'm so happy uh, for you. And I'm so happy for you. And you know what your hat? It's going to be amazing. Oh, I start like, Mary, like, like nervously going through different um, <laughs> looks of my armor, the glamoured armor, just like, you know, all black, you know, white and black. I, I go you know, he just he goes around looking for people. I What do you think? Um, I start trying to just sort of make myself look like what Maris is wearing. So it looks like we're matching. I only have one outfit. <laughs> As you guys are gathering, um, you hear the, the tap of the, um, the cane coming down the hall. And as he regards everything, you see the figure of Van Richten. He kind of pushes his glasses up. And I see. Foolish. And he t starts to walk. Um, you think you see maybe the h barest hint of a smile at the corner, but he <laughs> then straightens his um, uh, straightens his guise and taps away. And as you continue to gather everyone, you can hear then in the distance uh, of a horse taking off into the night. Wow, he's such a party pooper. Well, I'm not going like, to let him rain on my parade. My wedding day. <laughs> oh All right. And you look beautiful. I, I got everybody. Uh, Great. Okay. So, gathering up here. Wow. Um, because you're our friend and you get to be around for the big events. What big event? They're getting okay. married. Uh, literally right now. Yeah, I know, right? It's fine. What? Okay, uh, sh uh. I don't have any flowers or a ring or anything. Um, Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Acantha. <gasps> Acantha! <laughs> what do you do? And all of Acantha? a sudden, just druid magic. Just There's just an explosion of flowers. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> druid craft, druid craft, druid craft. <laughs> over and over and over again. Petals, flowers, you get some druid craft, and you get some druid craft. <laughs> you get some druid craft. She'll, uh, she'll take the flowers and she'll make a crown out of them, and she'll give that to Maris. And then she will take other flowers and just sort of weave them into two little rings and gives them each to just Waldo and Maris. It's the best I could do in short notice, but I hope they work. They mean so much. They're perfect. Thank you. Absolutely perfect. Ugh. So much fun. Now you're friends forever. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah. Head pat. Good job. Well, um, so what do we do? Yeah, what do we do? All right, uh, so stand up here. Um, we're going to skip past the whole processing bit because we don't have time for that shit. Um, so, um, all right, I'm going to stand up in front of the altar. I'm going to bring both of them up to the front with me. Okay. Um, and... Uh, Cyber goes and stands. You can... Just Waldo's side. Yeah, yeah. Um, if anyone wants to join us up here, you can, you know, put yourself. Yeah, come places. on up. <laughs> Ethelblad's like, mm, no, fuck that shit. <sighs> um, Thanks. <laughs> you still have to watch. Oh, I'll yeah. just stay over here when she okay. gets kind of comfy. Um, I think that there is probably nothing more beautiful in the shadow of Ravenloft and the dismal horror that Strahd embodies. Nothing more beautiful compared to that than pure love between two people. And or as far as where I'm standing, two people that I would call the greatest of friends. And I am confident that we're going to make it through tomorrow and the day after that. And when you leave Barovia, you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful life together. So um, I'm going to start casting ceremony. And um, for the fluff, <laughs> I know Rose's is written doesn't really work this way. Um, but um, I'm going to sort of um, press to digitate like a little sort of illusory ribbon of silver 
mm-hmm. and bind <laughs> their hands together. Um, and on each of their hands appears a little shining crescent moon. <laughs> And do you have anything that you would like to say to one another? <laughs> oh, uh, so much. But, um, all my adult life, I think I have been moving from one failure to the next, trying to fool myself into it, thinking it was just freedom but I now realize it was anything but I was trapped in darkness and just Waldo brings up his hand and uses uh, dancing lights to create a little light in his hand but You are pure light. And you have saved me. So that from now on I will know that I am not a failure. I am the happiest and most handsome man in the world. <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's of the course. Um, Maris. I never expected this. I lost my family when I was really young and I didn't know what family was until I I had Claire but now I have you and you've taught me so much about myself and so much about loving another person and also loving yourself and you taught me how to sneak um, I'm still working out the finer points of that, but you know, we'll be we'll be good at that eventually. Uh, but I just, no matter what comes, I know that with you by my side, I can handle it. And thank you so much for for being who you are and for being part of my life. All right. So, Maris, mm-hmm. do you take Jeswalden to be your blessed husband? I do. Jeswalden, do you take Maris to be your blessed wife? Only if you say the whole name. Don't Just make me do it. Just kidding. Of course yeah. I take her. <laughs> De La Rosa. Then I take my hands around their hands. By the holy power of Saloon, I bless this marriage. May you always find yourself in her holy light. And even when the moon is turned away from the earth, May you stay true to one another, always and forever, until you go to rest. Yay! Yay! Wow, I said my first marriage! (laughs) And we... You may now kiss the bride! You may now kiss! We kiss, and I lean in and I say, you know, the real key to sneaking is making sure you're not wearing any armor or anything else. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend well, that's I only didn't for hear her. That. Only for her. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> She's verklempt. <laughs> yeah. 
she turns as red as the moon behind Cyborg's head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to go over your name with me just a few times. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, it's all right. It's a lot. Um, okay. When we get out of here, um, we do need to go get that registered. Just for the record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that gives me time um, to you memorize say? the name. Yeah. And then you can write it out on your own. <laughs> right. So normally there were, I guess there would be a party, but I feel like that's not the best thing to do right now. Everyone needs to sleep. I think everyone should go to bed. And um, we'll party later. Yeah. We'll party when we've killed Strahd. Yes. Yeah. So um, thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Good do job. I think- do I have to go sleep in my own bed or can I follow Jeswalda? You can do whatever you want. Great, Jeswalda, let's go to bed! <laughs> right, right. Um... Okay, bye! <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> as they as they all as they jaunt off, um, there's a young, um, uh, beautiful were raven woman who is um, attended the events um, it looks like they were just about getting ready to go to bed themselves and bedding down so she's in sort of a um gown and her has looks like she's just brushed out her hair it's black and wavy tumbling over one shoulder and she kind of um um looks at cyborg and she said this now no wonderful what it's it is it's the best and thing i've i heard about you too and a night huh uh, squire, squire, squire to the commander of the right. Silver Seven, but wow. a knight it's, in training. Right, that's amazing. And you took the the oaths and everything. Yeah, yeah, we did the in the chat. Yeah, it was great. Wow. That's so impressive. I'm I'm so I'm really I really admire you. The, oh, the bravery you. it must take and the self sacrifice. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I mean, no, I don't. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do it the the way to follow someone like that. And oh the, no, it's it's really easy. The, Claire is a fantastic and the, leader, and that and the vow of chastity. I'm just so impressed. Oh yeah, no, totally. That's a well. I mean, that's no big deal. You know, it comes with being anyway. A woman, um, so that's I'm wait, so what? happy for you. And she puts a hand on your shoulder and then turns around and leaves. Athelflaed's gonna come up and put her <laughs> hand on the other shoulder for Cyber and just be like, she seemed nice. Yeah, she did. Ha. Did any of that register with you? Do you know what just happened? She was just asking me about being a squire. And I was a... Shoulder pat, shoulder pat. That's... You know, you're really good with books, and, uh, and that's... Yeah. Of course I am. Maybe not... You, you know, there there's life beyond your books... Oh, you mean like in with maps? <laughs> she could have shown you a map. Well, but um, do you- yeah, I, you know, I think you're the perfect person to have a vow of chastity. I oh think- yeah, of course. It's it's been part of my monk training for years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I, really, I don't know what to say to you at this point. That's oh. Oh, that's okay. It's good, a, it was a beautiful good. wedding. I'm I'm kind of speechless myself. Are you Are you gonna journal about it? Oh, of course. You know me. <laughs> yeah. Put in your journal about her, and then read it in like a month. Okay. I didn't even catch her name. Did you? That's. She wasn't talking to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you think I should go ask her her name? I think it's too late, and you took a vow of chastity. You didn't actually take a vow of chastity, but that's fine. I mean, like, but I don't know that. <laughs> Athelflaed, you know, a vow of chastity means I could still ask people's names, right? Yeah, she wants more than just your name, buddy. Does she want to know where I live? She wants to, know how wants high to you can see fly. something. Yeah, she she's interested in, like, um... Oh, so many jokes. Mildly, mildly having to do with blushing bones and I know that's what I'm like. I want to. <laughs> so I wanna many do jokes. Something. I want to say something, but they're all you precious, precious soul. 
You could have taken her out for a coffee or a bone meal, anything like that. Oh, well. She really I mean, liked your wings, and she was interested in your wingspan. How's that? Oh, that's uh, that's uh, great and all, but um, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. Don't. D- sh- Good job. And I'm just gonna like pat him in the middle of his chest now. <clears throat> Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Akanta, let's go. This is weird. Do you have your flowers? <laughs> a, a big old armful. Yeah, I got all I need. <laughs> okay, let's let's go to bed. <laughs> oh, so what does that give us, by the way? So are you so guys. So I what? was uh, saying we that for Maris and Jiswaldo, um, upon whom oh. I have officially cast with my last spell slot of the day, ceremony, wedding. <laughs> so you guys, for the next seven days get a plus two bonus to your AC when you're within 30 feet of one another. Awesome. Yes! <laughs> um, you Yay. cannot, um, you cannot benefit from this right again me. unless you get widowed. We can have that <gasps> <Whoa. laughs> oh, Peter! <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> well, hey guys, I guess we're back to Strahd as usual. Yep, and just like that. You guys ready to go to Ravenloft yet, yeah. or you want? Yeah, to let's like... go. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. No, we all need to get Long married rest. now. Long rest. Well, what like is the bonus? Someone? You guys want to build a pillow fort, or like? Oh my god, you know, yeah! Whatever. Oh my god, Akanta and I have already like we're building a fort out of the flowers. That's why I made sure that she got her arm full of flowers. Is that an official <laughs> long rest, DM? Official long rest, and Thank I think god. um we will probably take our official fifth. 15? No, 10 minute ten. break. <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that little interim. Uh, we are back and ready to go for the second half. The first half was unexpectedly delightful. Um, <laughs> as uh, two of our party members got married. Um, just Waldo and Maris are now hitched. And um, Cyvor has taken an oath to become a member of the uh, Knights of the Silver Dragon. He is now initiated officially in dedication to Argentvost. Um, and all that that entails. <clears throat> uh, Which does not include a vow of chastity. It doesn't. <laughs> she didn't know that. And I thought it was funny. It <laughs> was very <laughs> funny. Loved it. And I love that Cyborg may or might not be confused about that now. He's like, wait, <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't and, ask someone their name. <laughs> no, no, what I love is the conversation he's going to have to have with Claire being like, um, so is there a chat? <sighs> um, do <Can> I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so last night, right? so last night, <laughs> I, no, no gestures, I no gestures. Have, <laughs> last night, I may have. <laughs> Really messed things up with this whole vow thing. I uh... <laughs> it's my first day on the job. Please don't fire me. <laughs> and hey, uh, what do we get to do next, DM? Well, I... sounds like you're headed to Castle Ravenloft. Did yes. we, wake up? Beep, beep. we didn't just die tonight, <laughs> right? Bats, but bats, bats, bats. <laughs> I, I, I can't hear what. <laughs> <laughs> what what did you ask, Elena? <laughs> Nothing important, Peter. I asked, you could just go on. <laughs> just you know, I was literally just asking if we died in our sleep. <laughs> oh, yes, you all did. Uh, <laughs> okay. No, well, was- then I'm glad Maris took Jesse to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Wink to sleep, you guys. Jeez. That just means wow, they died fine. twice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> The Tome of Understanding will be finished All in the space of two minutes. Um, <laughs> um, hey, hey, uh, Heroes Feast. Oh, yeah. The new bride makes breakfast for everyone. Yum, yum. You all get... Could you go ahead and roll 2d10 to see? I would love to do that. When I cast my Do jam. good. Do good. <laughs> Mage armor. Mm-hmm. That. Ah. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> Got it. I was like, this seems wrong. Um, okay, so 2D10. Oh, so right. Is it wrong? Is it right? Someone asked. 
Does the uh, wedding night affect the long rest? No, it doesn't. Good oh, man, it Peter. <laughs> hey! Eleven! Not bad! Everyone, your hit point maximum is increased by eleven. Are those hit temporary hit points? Negative, nope. they can be healed. Ooh. Wow. So our okay. max is so now... So, on top of that, as we're eating, I'm gonna do a pump-up speech, and uh, y'all are gonna get some temporary hit points. Whoop! Uh, specifically, the 15 temporary hit point variety. So that's for the six of them, not including me. Okay. Um, do we need to heal our... Nope, you gain the hit points. Gain the hit points. Sweet. Yep. Yep, it specifies in the spell. All right, so that is then... And then, so how much temporary on top? 15. 15. Wow, you guys Holy are dear. stacked. That, that'd be a terrible spell. Like, man, that was a great meal, but... I... <laughs> Everybody needs to I'm just, I'm, cure I'm... wounds. <laughs> <laughs> that I feel like less than when I started. Uh, that's cool. So the plan was the were ravens are um, yeeting you into the castle, and you are using the druids to provide cover. Yes. Uh, yes, that was the plan. We were, we were access to the castle with the were ravens. Mm -hmm. Cover being provided by the druids, however they best see fit, and oh, lest we forget another divine intervention. That's true. Let's do this. Uh, what is what is it that you are asking for at oh. this time? We talked Before about you were this. asking about like what the best plan would be. This time, yeah. you can save it if you want, or will it be a boy or a girl? You know, oh something. god. <laughs> yes. I mean, wow. <laughs> um so we talked about the thing. So now what other what other things did we talk about? I'm sorry. So, I was so excited I got married. So yeah. So I guess that if it is successful, uh -huh. we could we could use the power of saloon to hide us as we approach. And right. send the druids off to do something else. Mm -hmm. Or we could just ask for Saloon's aid in keeping us hidden mm -hmm. for a okay. portion of our um, foray into... I think um, the keeping us hidden would be... I agree. Primo. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I mean, sure, I'm sure Strahd will know when we get into his castle, but yep. to, like, maybe have him not realize it when know where we are for a little while. That would be sure. great. Yeah. Okay. Right. And this is, just so you know, that when you ask, it will be, if it is successful, it will be given to you in sort of a tangible way. So okay. it'll be in the form of a spell or something that will okay. um, happen. So. Let me just adjust my... Uh, <laughs> How long does it take for us to get from Argenvoss to It's a trek. The castle. You're probably going probably on not... late afternoon by the time you get there at a forced march. So We may want to wait until we get closer. Oh! Yeah. What? That's oh, too oh. old. Well. What did you ask? <laughs> I thought that I would <laughs> roll first and ask later. Um. <laughs> that's not how this works. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I would like to ask Saloon for her assistance in keeping us. I guess, like, hidden from Strahd. Strahd. Yeah. Okay. You send out that um, message, and you hear nothing. And then what feel like a pair of cold lips brushing across your cheek. That is not okay. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm watching Maris. I guess by that look, you you were not successful. Uh, 
Right then. <laughs> I think that was a question to Maris. But <laughs> yeah, I yeah. said no, right? Right, no. no. Yeah. Well, it definitely oh, sounded we like and felt like Strahd responded. I know. So. Strahd responded. Can the, um, can the locals maybe advise us on the best route <laughs> towards We're going Ravenloft? to fly. Can they actually fly us the whole way? I feel like that would be a little strenuous. That would probably exhaust them. Yeah. So you will take the roads. It will take okay. some time. Um, all right. Anything you all are doing to try to hasten, to cover, to do anything like that on the way? Uh, do we have mounts? There's got to be a stable somewhere around here. This place has everything. You left them tied up wherever you did before the first time you started teleporting around Barovia. Oh, shit. We don't have teleportation spells. Well, I guess we could use the druids for that. I mean, otherwise, how, uh, how long of how with long us? of a how long of a journey is it without mounts? Uh, it would you would be very late afternoon by the time you get there. The sun would be going down. So Wait. that is that is the most of the day, and oh, we dear. have allies who will die tomorrow. So, do yeah. we want to not have the cover of the druids? Would they still be able to if we took? They have One, wild two, shaped, three, four, five, six, seven. If we took, if Acantha wild shaped and uh, Claire summoned her mount, we just need one, two, and uh, Cyber can fly. We just need four of them. And to, I'd uh, be riding on Acantha. Yep. So we need we need three. 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 We need three they of them will, to turn in. I think actually someone can ride with me too. So I have They're a able to do so. Yep. I have a question. Can... So we have not leveled up. Yes, you have. have. You're level 11 now. Well, I rolled we 11, did. so... No, you, you rolled 76. 78. Yeah. What? The You're first one was 2d10. Gosh darn it, Culpepper. Never mind. So, and and even if even if you took both of those numbers as single numbers, it's a 9 and a 2, so 92, or 2 and a 9, so 29. Does Maris get to finish her book and add plus 2 to her wisdom? <laughs> She did not spend the night. What was Maris <laughs> doing last night? <laughs> Maris got married. Yep. Clearly, there are priorities. <laughs> no, no. Nah. I can't. I can't see how he, he, the DM was, the DM was like, stretching the rules to allow her to read it in one night to begin with. The fact that she yeah. had other things going on, I think, I think that's we stayed a, up a all negatory. night reading to each other. Yes, we did. <laughs> Dedication. Yep, I like it. I believe Watch it before that. I give you both a level of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> it is raining. When yeah. the morning came this morning, um, though you would, your bodies told you it was time to awaken, there was no light telling you the same. It is dark. It is dreary. And the only true light is dim silvery light on the horizon and the occasional flashes of lightning striking the ground as you make your way towards the city of Barovia. Soon enough, Castle Ravenloft itself looms like a pillar in the distance. Like, like the wood right behind me. And it is nearly time to take flight. You can see swarms and swarms of bats are um, circling around it. Even in the daytime, even in this uh, storm, they seem to be on high alert. So, you instruct the druids to try to cause a distraction. Now, you've asked, you have you decided your entry point, the where Ravens last? So, we want to come up the bottom. Um, up Cyber. the bot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Um... We want either Cyborg or another Raven to go and check whether that little, like, weird thing under the balcony is an entry that we can get into. And if it is, then that is how we're getting in. And otherwise, we're just going to be plopped onto the balcony. There's about 900 feet up. So... Are you just sending one person at a time all the way up there to investigate that? And then make a chance, or are you all going to go up? We need just to commit. We need to all go. Okay, let's all go. 
I mean, that way, if anything bad happens, there's a chance that there are people around that can help. Right. Okay. So it takes a few minutes, but the druids begin chanting, conjuring. And you hear the winds from the storm begin to... And start to gust. And you can see these swarms of bats begin to be blown one direction or another as they're jittering about. A couple of them, you can see them smash into the side of the walls. Some of them fall limp and twitching them. If you could see them, that's what they would be. But yes, some of them are battered against the wall. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> That's good. Uh, hang on. We got this. And as you ascend, the winds do not um, strike you. This is all concentrated at the highest level. Um, it seems they are um, unable to... Uh, the bats themselves seem to be quite um, disoriented by this. Both the sound of the wind and the lightning, which um, increases. It is also almost deafening and blinding to you as these were even surge up the 900 feet. The ground below you is becomes less and less visible. Only sharp rocks and outcroppings. No and soon enough, you reach higher and higher and there is what appear to be a, um, a small vestibule or something set into the rock down below. There are three windows that seem to have been once a stained glass, but are so covered in grime now that you cannot see through them. They are completely opaque. So I speak to my were raven. Um, if those are locked, I might be able to open them. I'm sorry, if those are locked, I might be able to open them! He point, they point up. The bats. They may be distracted, but they're keen of hearing. And um, the <laughs> flapping. Um, and they are all in this sort of hybrid form. They have these sort of half-beaked faces, um, feathers coming out, but they actually do have full sets of wings in this. And one carries you closer to the window. Um, you look... And it is obvious to you that this was not a window that was ever designed to open. There is no latch. There is no um, hinge on either, well, at least on this side, but it doesn't look like it was ever opened. Does it appear to be glass? Touching it? Yes, it has a bit of um, uh, dust and grime comes off it, and you can see underneath all of that time there is a, there is stained glass well i will roll an investigation to see if there is any kind of a secret entrance in here not my okay. best skill does anybody else want to join me in this there are I, many were ravens cyborg you could probably be there yourself I, I can check as well um meanwhile um thank you very much to pixie quinn Take some inspirational heals. What would we prefer, guys? Two healing potions, or two of us get an inspiration? Inspiration. Inspiration. So thank you very much, Pixie, for twenty dollars. That's two wow. of us get inspiration. So Pixie. if you haven't got inspiration, roll your first d twenty. No. Oh. I've got inspo. Beep, beep, beep. I rolled Pixie a natural is my one. Inspo. <laughs> Three. Claire's in the lead right now with a nineteen and a dice. Does anyone else want to roll? Oh, Chow got a seven. Go and test. So the first one looks like it's Claire's. And I'll roll again, second guys. place. Oh, should we just go second place? Oh, I was going to say roll again. Sorry. Okay. Eleven. Oh, yeah, we could go. Yeah, we could go. <laughs> natural, <laughs> natural one for me. So Jezwaldo is winning currently with eleven. Anyone else got a roll? Yes! And we've just got to wait for Chelsea. We've got to wait for Chelsea. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. What does you got, could, Chelsea? Could Chelsea come in with higher than 11? She does with a 12. She does ah, with a 12. Right. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, yeah. All right. Boop, so, boop, boop. Uh, make that Thank you very much, Pixie. As you guys are just standing here a bit, the wind is beginning to pick up and you are being jostled about a bit. Make the check at disadvantage or at a straight roll if you are being helped. You notice that while um, concentrated, the winds are becoming a bit out of hand. So, uh, somebody want to give... 
someone who actually has skill in this advantage. I I am not trained in it, so somebody could give me advantage, but I can't give it to anybody else. Therese is giving you advantage. Okay, here we go. So okay, this is a straight I can roll. Check as well. Okay, got my Ooh, idea. Back. Nineteen. Good job. That's very good. Um, <clears throat> there, again, there is nothing to open this, but they are not. They are. Um, well, say not fortified. You don't see a way to pry them open or anything, but they could probably be broken through. All right. Well, I draw the luck blade and I okay, and kick it open a couple times, and you see the glass shattering on the inside of a dark room. The rain begins to pour into this dusty chamber as we enter. Do you and the next yeah yes. i i go in and i'm gonna help everybody else who comes in okay sorry One guys brief just, moment yeah, just quickly up? i i cocked up my my brain's a bit fuzzy um that's four lots of inspiration sorry wow, oh, wow. we need to roll two more sorry wow so if you've got it already you don't need to roll is that gonna um, just oh be God. everybody so whoever's left just roll one dice and we'll do first and second place yeah Wow, to, you guys, so quicker. generous. Indeed. So generous. No, I, I, I just, I mathed wrong, so. Unacceptable. So, it looks like I, I win the first one, and then Marius wins the second one. So, thank you very much, Pixie. Sorry, I cocked that up. It's 1.30 a.m. wedding gift. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So, sorry, you. Peter, carry on. All right. Jeswaldo, you enter... A room. Oh, one moment. Uh, where is this? And. Sorry, Ryan, inside. I didn't see your roll come in last a second. You see oh, I love tomb, that. a tomb here that is hushed in silence. Two tall stained glass <gasps> windows here. remain one that you have smashed through lies scattered about your feet. Two coffins lie, resting atop white marble slabs. The one against the northern wall. I'll pull you guys over to where you are. Is named, the one against the northern wall is marked King Barof von Zarovich. And the one against the south wall is marked Queen Ravenovia. Von Royen. The vaulted ceiling, 30 feet overhead, is inlaid with a beautiful gold mosaic. All right. Fucking called it. <laughs> so, if we think that the sword is here, then we should maybe pay a visit to Sergei's tomb. But we should very quickly try to make our way to the transportation. Makes sense. So you see, on the stairs here, there are these two alcoves, as about 10 feet up. Within each, taking up the full 30-foot height of the ceiling, is a bronze statue of a warrior holding a spear. A soft blue curtain of light flows between the two alcoves. Dimly visible on the other side of the curtain are more ascending stairs. Does that feel like a trap? It feels like something and not good. Alimus, do you have any idea what's going on up there? So we're on the other side of... This is the, the one of the areas in the, the, tomb, the tomb, in the crypt that we yeah. didn't go into. I mean, I could spend time studying, but it will take 10 minutes. Well, um, I'm, I'm going to walk forward and I'm going is it possible is this a wall right here DM yes all right so I will um, very carefully uh, check to see first of all I want to check to make sure that there's nothing bad about the steps okay uh, uh, make a, you can make an investigation check if you wish to look at the wall every the, the wall of light just this whole region in general let's make that one investigation check <laughs> Right, here we go. Would you like some help? Yes. 
<laughs> we could get Alimus and both Alimus and Ethelflaed in here. They have good uh, seeing. I or do you want to just roll seeing. yourself, Ethelflaed? Unless someone wants to give me advantage. I could give you advantage. Either of us. I think we both are really high. Likely to do better than a three. Mine's plus nine, so. Mine too. Oh, cool. Okay, oh, no. we'll just Mine's five. Never mind. Oh, okay. I'll I roll with advantage. Uh, 27. Okay. The stairs seem solid. The curtain of blue light um, doesn't, if you ascend, it doesn't seem to react at all to your presence. Sort of reaching out, the light is cool. Just giving off that bright bluish glow. Well, I will... You don't detect anything besides that. Move try and get around behind the statues to see if I can pass by through them without crossing their gaze. I think I saw this in a movie once. As you are looking there, Jeswaldo, you think a small creature could do so, but you cannot. Alright. Well, here goes nothing. Um, should we all go together or just one person? Um, I'm definitely going to come up to the top of the stairs so that if there is something that you need to save against, you have my bonus. Um, would you beloved, like study it first? would you mind being <laughs> within 30 feet of me? No, I mean, I wasn't planning on leaving your side. So, yeah, let's go. Right. You come up the stairs, yeah. Uh, I will sneak past. Okay, go ahead and make that sneaky roll. 28. Stealth of a 28. And Jaswaldo seems to disappear behind this curtain of light. Bloop. 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 So he's just gone from sight then. He is. You cannot okay. see nor hear anything on the other side. Where'd he go? Can I get through? Can you all still hear me? Can we hear him? Is he talking or is he messaging? Uh, he, you can hear him. Yeah. Okay. Jesse. Now suddenly, as he speaks up, you can see. Oh, there he is. You can see his oh. faint form, just very faint, behind the light. Uh, oh, it didn't okay. seem to be any problem with that. All right. Okay. That was weird. I'm. I'll take a pass at it. Step through. Okay. You step through, and as you both are now on the other side. Am I dead? <laughs> You can see, um, oh, this is hard to reveal. A similar, an area you guys recognize. Hooray! Ugh, so much drama happened in here. <laughs> Just Waldo, it feels like another life when you were here last. Indeed. He sort of looks over to the area where Akantha took the major zap. And uh, Major's aunt. shakes his head. Um, which one is Sergei's tomb? The one up from here. It's the one that uh, had the gate in front of it. It's to the north. Well, I say we give it five minutes to see if whether or not we can get what we're hoping to find. Okay. And I run towards it. Let's go, everyone else, through the thingamajigger. Is that where it is? Uh, all the way up. Um, I'm pinging it. You guys have peered into it before. Okay. The uh, the space in between here and there is uh, shattered. Still, yeah, yeah, I just. Yeah. All right. So there is a portcullis. There is. Did uh, anybody find a locking mechanism? The last time we were here, we were not able to find anything, but we also didn't spend very much time on it because we were kind of in a rush to skedaddle. Well, unless someone can find something for me to use my picks, then there is nothing to be done. There's either something some... on the outside here that will open it or there's something on the inside that will open it. Can we get some um... uh, investigation checks in here? Yeah. So picks or it doesn't happen. Got it. Nope, sure. Okay. <laughs> Someone want to give me advantage again? I will gladly give you advantage. And uh, I will give you the bardic inspiration of I believe in your keen powers of perception. Is that a d6 or a d4? 
It's a D6. Thank you very much. 26. These are very secure, um, solid iron bars, likely maybe even reinforced near magical means. Um, you recognize that it's possibly even of adamantine construction. There, unless you can find a mechanism or a another method to open them, you, well, it, you would not be able to break them apart unless you can physically lift the portcullis or find a mechanism to um, open them. You think it is stuck shut. We do have other ways in, but can we see the sword in there at all? You see a closed coffin here and written on the marble slab upon which it sits are inscribed the words Sergei Fonsarovich. All right, that leaves magic. Either we lift it by strength or something else. What's our option for something What's the else? strongest thing you can turn into, a Akanta? It turned into an earth elemental. Couldn't you just walk through the wall then? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if that is the plan, then that is what she will do. We don't now, have like earth shape or some shit like that, right? There is misty step. Spells, but well, yeah, it. but uh, that's a misty step in and a misty step out. Yeah, and it also uses a spell slot. Now this uses a wild shape, but... <laughs> yeah, now this will use both of my wild shapes until my next rest. Oh. It costs two wild shapes to do it? It does. Take for elemental, elemental, yeah. For elemental. elemental. Well, what about... I mean, if it gets the sword... It's if it's in there. If it's in there. What about... I cast detect magic first to see if I can sense its presence in there. I mean, if it's in the tomb, you probably won't be able to sense it, but you might sense something on the bars. Some way of being able to manipulate them. We need a decision right now. What are we I, doing, Claire? Have we got I time? say he should cast Detect Magic. I yeah, can, let's see if it's in there first. I can take my time or I can hard cast it. You, I think that we we have a little bit of time, buffer time here. We're not, like, we're, we're on a clock, but we're not rushing at this point. So I think that you can do the ritual, save the slot. I will start um, ritual. And in the meantime, Ethelflaed and um, Jiswaldo should investigate further around the area in case there's something that we've missed. Um, the rest of us can stand watch. Did we open up these tombs, DM? We did, right? Many of them, not all of them. I think you skipped a few of them. Um, but I had I just been reviewing my notes to see whether there was like something, you know, a reference to like opening doors or something in one of these tomb titles, but I couldn't really find anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we should open up any of these. We got, I feel like we got really lucky. We did, yeah. I don't, I think that we should not risk. I do have Earth. Move Earth uh, prepared. In my six level spot, if we think that would. Six level. So one six level spell or uh, two wild shapes. Uh huh. Well, let's see what um let's, what Alimus finds first. I say wild shape because then if we run into anything that we have to fight, you can fight it as an earth elemental. Be aware though that move earth, um, the spell cannot manipulate natural stone or stone construction, of which pretty much all of this is. It's the last second to last paragraph on the spell. All right, so I guess we all wait on our guard while. Elimus cast his yeah. spell. Okay. Well, um, actually, Athelflaed would sort of just like to wander around 
Are there still not... thousands of bats ahead of us, atop of us? That's a good question. There are not. Okay, good. Sorry. <laughs> How dare you ask a good question? Um, can Athelflaed sort of just wander around the different rooms, not actually opening them, but like sort of reading through the titles and looking to see if there's anything that might help us? Sure. While we're uh, reading. <clears throat> I just need to know exactly where you're going as you do so. So it will be in this, like, these first three rows. Uh, first three rows are things that you've seen before. Nothing seems... Um, like nothing's standing out now? Correct. Are you going back down to below? Uh, yes, I will, because we're still waiting. But there's this other place over here that there's has bars. There are. Did we ever? Did we ever look through those bars? At the bottom. Yeah. I don't think. No, I don't we didn't. think we did. We have not. I guess I'm gonna mosey down that way then. I will I, mosey. I will mosey with you. Mosey I avec moi, s'il vous plaît. I have a question. Okay. Uh, so if I wanted to prepare prayer of healing for later. Potentially, is that something I could do? Which you have to switch out your spells at the beginning of the day. Oh. Uh, yeah. Also, if I am going down there with Athos. Yeah, I'm coming too. Yeah. Okay. Forever. <laughs> Y'all are fucking stuck yeah, together now. Want. Hell yeah. Marriage. <clears throat> so. Who is who is going first? Check the bars oh. down at the bottom. Yes. Um, I guess I will. Okay. So, then... just Waldo, you are following, um, and is Maris coming too? Is that what I mean? Yes. Doing? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my token where it needs to be. Um. As Do we sneak all the way over there, maybe that would be smart. You can try. If you are, just make make a roll, please. Twenty six. I, I got a fifteen. Shit. You have to do a disadvantage, Maris. Oh, uh, I accidentally just friggin' logged myself out. Hmm. That's the ultimate disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Wah. Oh my god. I thought you were studying stealth. Um, as you guys, so I will say this first. Um, Jaswaldo, if you wouldn't mind taking one step north, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> as you guys are very sneakily moving down that direction, Maris, please roll your stealth at disadvantage. I would super duper love to. Same with a con. I, I can do it for you if you can't do okay. it. Okay, yeah, it's not. Okay, it just locked me back in. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Maris is very not quiet about it. <laughs> and as you are, I tried, Liz. no as one's you surprised. Are moving down in that direction, you uh, just while you're like, oh, this is not not the best, and you look over your shoulder at the clomping metal boots coming um, that contain your favorite little feet in the world, but um, <laughs> uh, she comes Loud feet. towards you and. <laughs> back and there is a flash of light Sorry. And, oh, where, and you look back and where Athaflad was standing there was a flash of light and she's not there anymore and you see this pale creature with um, sagging skin um, yeah, you, mm -hmm. pale and withered hair <laughs> clearly undead <laughs> that looks in your direction where is this thing? Where I, five where my token it, is. Five feet in front of you. At I the draw flood, a sword. We will get to you in a moment. I draw Bye. a sword and I put a hand out behind to hold back uh, Maris and I... I thought, Vlad, I've seen enough strange things to know that just because you look horrifying, it need not necessarily be bad. 
As you say that, the thing tilts its head a little bit and you hear this terrible sound of metal scraping on stone and you can see that its dislocated shoulder <coughs> pops back into place and it starts to bring its sword to bear on you. And I we... I can't see the token. Roll probably. initiative. Yep, I'm pulling it on right now. Oh, okay, I, I thought you didn't know if you said it was there or not. <clears throat> All right, some combat. Of a flood, you are in initiative two, but we will get to you in a moment. Should I just it's, roll then? There seemed oh. to be a yeah, roll as a There seemed to be this pulse well of done, just Waldo, as she the stepped onto man. that spot and utterly disappeared. So that is a thirty for my initiative, folks. And I got a, I got twenty twenty two. Mine didn't but I don't suck. Have a marker, so it's not tracking. Hey, sixteen. Sorry, guys. They're up here, so it's, they should still save. So. Here you go. Right. So mine's, yeah, mine's 22, because my marker is not there anymore. <laughs> I will add you a turn. Danke. Teresa, have your, has your mic turned the wrong way around? No, you, this way. got a bit quiet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come on now. I'll be louder. I need to re-roll to run the extension. Alright, do we have everyone on here? Sorry, I'm not seeing it. No, mine is just now rolling only on my D D Beyond sheet. Well that's a bummer. <laughs> it is! Yeah. Uh, are you logged into roll twenty? I am, yeah. Uh, tr try again. Okay. Oh. because I was logged in as your character. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nope, still doing it. Ooh. All right, it what is. are you seeing on oh, your... Looks like one white may make a wrong. <laughs> Get out. Uh, 18. 18? All right. Yeah. And I believe that's everyone on there. Does anyone not see themselves? Good to go. Cool. Jeswaldo. <laughs> the 30. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I, I take it back. You are pretty ugly, and I think that that really makes you the worst. And I will use uh, Panache. I will ask for a insight, please. To be try to counter my oh dear, my roll of a fourteen. I am going to use <laughs> my um, inspiration, my bardic inspiration, to augment that. So here is my d6. Oh man! Oh boy! Um, oh boy! No, oh, it didn't boy. work. That's um. <laughs> That's really bad. That uh, this undead creature just doesn't look impressed at you. No, I must not, must not have heard <laughs> its me. Eyes just glow a cooler shade of blue, and it stares at you. That is about as bad as that could have rolled. <laughs> wow. Anything oh, well. else? For you? Um. I will. I will say what? Well, That's what I've got. How about you, Akanta? And I'll give her a bardic inspiration for my, <laughs> for my uh, bonus action. Glimus, well, you probably have about eight minutes left in your detect magic. And that's me. Um, you well, haven't really heard anything except us. Half a flat? <laughs> so, obviously, if we haven't heard nothing, I'm not going to go down there, am I? So... You can clearly hear something's up, but that's we about it. We've not heard the, the swing of a sword or... No, nothing's happened, is it? Not really. Joswaldo has made eyes at a um, He's called at someone an undead creature. He called You're a married him? man now. <laughs> it's my I figured it would be insulting, but... Uh... <laughs> right, I'll, I'll start moving my way down there. I'll look to Claire and 
see obviously if she's noticed anything and maybe just I never noticed anything why would you even ask me <laughs> I mean I've got a passive of 17 so yeah that's why I said you could tell okay. something's up I look see something's wrong and I head down so 5 10 15 20 all right well you're moving Athel Flood you awaken in absolute darkness you feel yourself you try to move you try to look around and you cannot your arms go one direction and you feel wood to the to the right to the left and you see as your dark vision comes to bear a solid wood surface in front of your face and as you go, go it is unmoving you are somewhere in a coffin, in a coffin. What do you do? Straight up kill Bill 2. Just. Ow, that would hurt. Um. Um. That's a very good question. What do I do? I did not plan for that. Can I take out my daggers and start trying to, like, carve through the wood? Start stabbing yes. it? A weapon? Attack will be at disadvantage as you are restrained. So basically, try not to roll a natural one. <laughs> Thanks. Um, like I did. Twice. You hit. 14? Yay! For all of eight damage. Eight damage. This you, thing. you can kind of just barely get your arm up next to your face, and you just start punching holes in the wood on top of you. Thankfully, it is not much reinforced and you break most of the way out. I think you're probably about two damage away from getting out of it. And you get your breath for a second and you can't see out of it yet. You can just see a stone or a, um, a ceiling that seems to be hewn from the rock of the pillar of Ravenstone itself, some other underground chamber right now. And you hear around you as you start breaking through you hear a this there's silence then you hear it scritch 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 on the wood on other wood surfaces around you nope thanks i hate it remove from cart <laughs> um so technically i have two attacks you do for action i don't really want to push through oh, better to do it. it now and maybe get out than you know have them come in with you. I don't like any of that. And I got a 14 again. That hits. <laughs> <laughs> and so you break out of where you are contained. <clears throat> and you can see Surprise, since you have dark vision, <laughs> you are in a chamber somewhere underground completely filled with coffins scattered about the ground. And inside of each of them, you can hear what can only be bony fingers scratching against coffin <laughs> lids. I'm so glad that we <laughs> went with you, otherwise we'd have no idea what happened. <laughs> Peter is just waiting for that. Peter, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> oh no. Can I crawl right. back in? <laughs> Come after me. Come on. You what? Uh, the, the, you have the rest of your action. Do you have a bonus action or anything else? I think you're probably done. All right. I think I'm dead. Yeah. You stand up or keep laying in the coffin. Um, I think I'm gonna up, move. Like, yeah, move. I'm gonna just like sort of get up and take a look around at the coffin room. Okay. Um, just cursory glance. You are in an underground chamber. That's all you can see for now. <clears throat> What is your passive perception? 16 or 17? 17. Okay. And we go to their turn. Not liking your advances, the uh, thing uh, yeah. reaches out at you, Jeswaldo. <laughs> it tries to life drain you. I don't think it can hit you unless it rolls the natural 20 it just rolled for a 24. Um, Being married has its 10 part. points of damage total. I need a con save. 
Right. I have rolled a 20. Okay, you feel the life being drained from your body, but not in a way that feels so permanent. And then it strikes with a long sword with a nine, which I assume you easily parry away. I do, quite easily. All right. And... So how was 10 points? Yes. All right. Let's see if they can break out. One of them does. The coffins next to you, the scratching sound grows louder and louder, Athelflaed. And one of them bursts open, and a hungry looking figure um, claws its way out of the open coffin, um, bringing a long sword with it, and first of all goes and reaches towards you. Um, it reaches with a six to try to put its hand on you. You can duck out of the way quickly, and then in a rage. <laughs> It brings its sword to bear down upon you with a seven to hit. I can't, I shouldn't do sound effects. Uh, but then, hey, is your mic, your music coming through? Yes. No, I mean, I'm hearing it twice. I just muted mine. I could hear it coming from you, I think. It's somebody just, it's somebody gone has, their, has, their, has their computer speakers on yeah. and it's picking up the music from the computer. Let me mute it. It's, it, it's gone now, but it was happening when you were talking. And I muted my end to see if it was, and I could hear it. So yeah, it's just fine. I'll tell you if it. Let's not back. kid ourselves. It was me. Was oh. it? <laughs> I fixed it. Okay. I'm sorry. You can probably hear us all, us all a lot better too. So another one is about halfway through the coffin, you think? <laughs> and more and more of these coffins. Probably about 14 of them down here. I think something like that. You can hear the soft. Um, uh, sound of fingernails scratching. You're fine. You're fine. Maris! Bye, guys! <laughs> you also saw Athelflaed step right here and phoom, just I disappear did. in a burst of light. I saw that. Reappearing in that spot instantaneously was mm -hmm. this creature. Right. Um, hit that mice. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh... So yeah, I am. Don't I'm go gonna... any further. Don't go past me. You can oh, move I... into my space and then hit it. Okay. Then move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna move into Jesse's space. Actually, do you have to? Can you? Could she hit it from there? Um. She will. My have reach to... is five feet. You could go into Acanthus' space and do it. She's only small. Yeah. So there's not really a, a clear ruling on here. You will have to move out. You can't end your turn there. For okay. these purposes, you're squeezing. You are, you don't have the space you normally need to to um, perform any your actions. So attacks Could, against any of you would share have it with Akanta. Advantage. Akanta is a um, small one. Did she transform? No, she I don't think yet. she has yet. No. Okay. So now it's Jax. I can share people's spaces. Not as a gnome, you can't. Not um, as a. I believe that's a feature that they. So have, the question is, could Maris hit it from where she's standing now? Mm -hmm. Uh, she could, but she cannot end her turn there. It will also be at disadvantage. Why can't she end her turn there? She, oh, move. I'm sorry. I thought she was on top of you. Yes, no, you can swing time. where it's at right now. I'm sorry, okay. guys. I, will it be at disadvantage? Her token disappeared on my screen, Fair or enough. slash. I just didn't see it, so. Ignore that. You're fine. You can attack it. Okay. Coolsies. Let's hit him with that thigh bone. Remember, you have got inspiration gifted to you by Pixie. The D6, yes. the D6 one is. Okay. If you need it. Let's see. It's still not showing up on the... Oh, no. Um, it's Roll funny, because I can... I can see it on my screen that you're rolling on Me the D&D Beyond. So bizarre. Oh, it's, we've yeah. got a game log. So you hit with 23. 23. Yeah, 23. 23, you hit with the mm -hmm. thigh bone, huh? Yep. <laughs> what happens when that happens, uh, Maris? Uh, well, I hit it across the face <laughs> with the thigh bone. It's to thigh for. 
What damage? What, I think he's asking what damage you roll. Uh, oh, six points of damage. Six Plus, points of damage. I want to do my... In, no, I can't do it. Post. Isn't Just it a mace of disruption? It Doesn't is. that have like an effect on undead dudes? People stop them. When you hit a fiend or an undead with this magic weapon, that creature mm -hmm. takes an extra 2d6 radiant damage. That's oh. what I was um Aha! <laughs> okay, so beep boop pop. Ah! <laughs> oh my oh, wow, god. Wow, that fucking sucked. Double one. Extra two damage. Ooh. Not off to a good start here, I Say, Jesse, you two are made for each other. <laughs> we are tired. <Yeah. laughs> All right, seven damage total. Right? Maybe drink like some water or something. Eight. 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 All right. <laughs> a little better than Hydration is important when you're taking part yeah, in physical yeah, activities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything else for Maris? Uh, just a look of disappointment. <laughs> Is that the bonus action? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's my bonus action. Oh, it be my turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Um... You can now hear the sounds of battle coming from the other side of the tomb. Oh or boy. Catacombs, All right. rather. Time to go, Slavor. And I uh, book my little armored ass over in that direction. Where are we going? Uh, fuck if I know. <laughs> All right. That's, that's probably uh, as far as I can get. Dash action. I really okay. need to know how you guys do that. I don't know how to do that. Right click. Um, I use Q. So okay. as I pick up my token. I hold, I can press Q to start yeah. the arrow thing, and then I can press it again when I'm in a different ah, space. Thank you very much. You learn something new yeah. every day. No problem. Cool. Conte, you're got up. Three more viewers. We could get our 50 viewer. What? Talk to your friends. Fight harder, guys. Fight harder. Conte, you're up. All right. I am going to hit it with a third level moonbeam spell. No oh boy. All right. Um, Moonbeam. Um, Peter, have you seen the th Z's comment about the Mace of Disruption? Um, the, the, uh, let's see. DC oh, it's, uh, it's still above the threshold, Z. Thank you for that, though, because I was, uh, um, had forgotten about that little bit of extra damage besides the crit, but yeah. It has more than 25 hit points after that blow. Okay. And do I need to read off what Moonbeam does? It's a long one, right? So it, uh, it is. <laughs> it's a and silvery. It is a, go ahead. Yep. Of, yeah, a silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five-foot radius, forty-foot high cylinder, centered on a point within range. Until the spell ends, dim light fills the cylinder. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it is engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain and it must make a constitution saving throw. It takes 2d10 radiant damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Okay. So it will need to do that at the start of its turn, but that's a mm -hmm. nice bit of damage you rolled there. Anything else on your turn? Uh, I'm just going to be like, where is my friend? And that's, that's it. All right. Cyvor. All right, so Cyvor's just going to go supernova. You've got six seconds, Cyvor. What can yeah, you do in so, six seconds? Uh, so using my dash action and then burning a key point to use my dash action again, I'm going to fly 200 feet across the room. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> because I can break the sound barrier, apparently, as a monk. So uh, he's just going to fly like straight across and like winds up like punching past just Waldo and like tries to get behind the white. Okay. So you guys see Cyvor absolutely careening towards all of you. Are you saying Hi, anything, Cyvor? What's that? Are you saying anything as you're on your way? <laughs> Here I come to save the day. So he's singing Cyvor, wait, out no! loud and you see him go over your head and Suddenly, another white appears. Tried to warn you. <laughs> to be fair, I was moving very fast. To be fair. <laughs> and does he disappear? He does. Fuck! You find yourself 
in a small little box. Darkness <laughs> all around you. This is not what I expected. Five, five more? You got... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Arthur, <laughs> <laughs> when you hear now more of these caskets begin to rumble and break open. Look what you did. That's not good. You can't. So he can you. actually do the Kill Bill punch. <laughs> <laughs> I I can, except that I've already burned my action and my bonus action. Uh, oh, tits. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Next turn, then. And that's one. <laughs> Back to the top. Oh, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. All right, fine. And I just uh, slash at it with the rapier. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, with the luck blade. And that is going to hit. With a whole lot of dice. Hitting AC 23. Oh, one more damage than you need. This one crumples before you. A swift strike hits it perfectly in the spine and it folds like a table tent. Um, <laughs> so I look at the moonbeam that is being cast right in that spot where it was. I <laughs> Oops. Look at the other one. <laughs> I look at it kind of as a, ah, sorry. <laughs> um, and I turn and I prepare to try and move the other one into the moonbeam, but I only have the one attack, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So that is me done. Elimus. Nobody go past me. I say, do you see Cyvor past us? Yeah. Uh, the boy knows how to go fast. He was he was uh, yelling out a battle cry, freshly inspired from his new knighthood, squirehood. And... Uh, when, I think I may have invigorated him a bit too silent. much. When we, when we, when he disappeared, did we still, for a split second, hear the battle cry? Maybe get an idea of where he is. You did not. Okay. <laughs> I've moved. Okay. He's like puffing and panting. Athelflaed, you're up. Um. So right now, there's only one out of. the out of the box with me. Mm -hmm. Out of the box. Thank you. I um, loved out of the box. <laughs> I guess I will jump out of my box because I was standing on the box looking around. It's a goat in a box. <laughs> it's a goat in a box. I shall flourish my oh, goat cloak fine. and yeah. I will um, use my short sword twice. For a 17 and a 28. Uh, both will hit, yes. Aha! For some nice damage there, 19. All right. It uh, staggers backwards, but still seems to have some undead vitality left. What Anything else on your turn? Um, can I? I can't tell which box Cyborg's in. Can I? Um, no, you probably just heard coming from a little ways away. Accurate. <laughs> uh, then I guess they're like, Cyborg, you need to get out of the box now. And try to be quiet. Try. <laughs> All right. Athl uh, sorry. Akantha, I'm going to hey, drain again. your <laughs> life. Um, I've got another natural 20 for 24. Please make a constitution saving throw after taking 11 points of necrotic damage. Look at that face. And Peter sounded so cheerful about it. I'm ah, going to drain your life. Oh, uh -huh. it's not permanently drained. And then Maybe. I have an 18 to hit you with my long sword. Doubly rude. 18 hit. Oh my God. Uh, look at her face, I would have said yes. Okay, 12 points of slashing damage after that. Like Athel Flad. She's about to kill a fool. Two more are able to emerge. No. And you quickly find yourself running out of room. Rude. All right. Three of them make life drain attacks at you at oof, 20, 18, and 22. I need three constitution saving throws first. 
Remember your D6. All right. <laughs> D6. <laughs> okay, On which so one? I got a on the six, so I got a nine, a ten, and a twenty. All but right, spread. you take a total of eighteen necrotic damage from those three, and your hit point maximum is reduced by ten. Wait, so what? Uh, now long sword's coming at you. This wait, wait, great. was that? Uh, don't say. <laughs> wait, so huh? I, so eighteen necrotic. Yep, and your hit point maximum is reduced by ten. Permanently? For now. Um, a lot of times it's like until you rest. It depends on the creature though. And I've got a uh, six points of slashing damage assuming that the 21 hits you. Otherwise I've got 11, six and 21. So. Yeah, just the 21. Yep. Six more points of slashing damage. And you hear two more then break out of their coffins over near where Mr. Cyvor has started yelling. What the hell is going on there? Yell quietly, I said that. Maris, your turn. Cool. So I cannot see these creatures that are with my friends in there. No. <laughs> They're horribly sad little coffins. Um, so I'm just going to try to... <laughs> There's one again. surefire way to get to them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, 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 I've seen what's happened. Yeah, and then you'll be more than 30 feet away from your beloved husband. Yeah, no, no, no. This is our honeymoon, and we are sticking side by side. <laughs> honeymoon and Barovia. This I want to see the pamphlet sucks. for, I want to see yeah, the pamphlet the for fuck? honeymoons in Barovia. I yeah, was promised a couple's massage, in <laughs> and instead I'm being beaten. <laughs> So I don't understand. Um, so I would like to try again to hit the dummy with the thigh bone. Okay. You hit uh, a dummy with cool, a thigh bone. You can either walk in front of Jeswaldo or go around back next to Akantha. Beep boop up. Guys, we're at 50. Nice. Beep, you, boop, 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 walking, boop, boop. You're walking in front of Jeswaldo to go attack it? You're... I'm like, ah, get out of my Maris, way! You you brush us out of the way and you hear for a second, no! And then you whoosh, suddenly find, <gasps> find yourself in darkness. Hey, babe. <laughs> I, I the one thing you weren't supposed to do, and you did it. Ain't no I part of like a coffin thinking? party because the coffin it's party just, puts you oh, in a box. No. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Beloved. I replaced by a um, box. <clears throat> what the heck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> but, but didn't he appear inside my moonbeam? He did. He entered it for the first time in a turn, though unwillingly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so the first roll, 21 radiant damage to start. Oof. <laughs> Damn. He's, like, oh very hungover and opening up the curtains and not realizing that the sun is shining directly at him. He's like... <laughs> he's almost blinded and angry by what's happening. So, um... He needs a cup of coffee. Anyway, Maris, you are trapped in a coffin in utter darkness. What would you like to do? Uh, scream into the abyss. Um... Be quiet! <laughs> You, and then you hear all of the coffins in this place as you hear this loud scream echo and all of the coffins begin to shake and skeletal fists start to punch through the um uh, uh, drawn through the wood drawn to human pain like flies to honey so I'm on my honeymoon shut up you're gonna die shut up <laughs> any any action, Maris? Uh, I would like to try to break out of my coffin. Can okay. I use the thigh bone to hit my coffin? <laughs> you can, or you can use a strength check. I neglected uh, to mention that. Wait, before. we could that do a strength mistake. check. You that was probably not the right course of action for you, anyway. But. <laughs> yeah, that would have been that would have been a thing. Uh, yes, I will do a strength check. Beep boop pop. Oh my god, I rolled a friggin' one. <laughs>
You push and the nails do not budge. I live in this box now. I hope you like tiny living, <laughs> Jeswaldo. <laughs> we got Small a tiny house. Slow. We got um, a tiny house. <laughs> Claire, you're up. So stylish. Tiny. I'm <laughs> trotting along the corridor, uh, catching up with Alinas. Sorry, uh, guys. I didn't split the party, though. No, it's okay. We brought this one ourselves. And I, as as I as I catch up to um, Alanis, I'm like, we really did not think this through. <laughs> and that's much. Do, do we ever? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I think yesterday was the exception. It's, it usually starts with me having to spend ten minutes casting a spell. The party getting bored, <laughs> splitting up. We should have just tried to lift it, and, and then she yeah. hits the fan. Akanta. You're yeah, up. sorry. All right, so I've got one in the moonbeam, and I'm going to cast, because I'm saving my wild shapes, Flame Blade. Nice. I believe Where? the moonbeam will drop then. Is Flame Blade a concentration spell? Uh, keep the moonbeam. Keep the moonbeam. Keep the moonbeam for sure. Keep the moonbeam. Uh, while you are deciding, we are doing a giveaway, guys. Um, thank you very much for all the people that are here. Uh, Escalation Mark giveaway will put you in for the giveaway. So, and we will draw it. at the end of the show. So Do it. Do it. Anyone can enter. Do it. Okay. So, we're going to cast Ice Knife because that is not Ooh. a concentration spell. And I'm going to fling it at the one that is not in the moonbeam. Nice All part. right, I need I need you to make an attack roll, but I also need you and Jezwaldo to make a dexterity saving throw in that case. It affects everything within five feet of impact. I never <laughs> said combat with my strong point. Jezwaldo's gonna be fine. You, ooh, that's a big ice knife. I'm short. <laughs> uh, surely I can like duck under. Whoosh. Jezwaldo, you take no damage. No damage. A kanta. <laughs> and Akanta, you take 19 points of cold damage. Oh, shit. As little shards of ice fly back at you. However, my baby. the, the she... enemy takes a full. Does she take the splash? It's the cold damage, so she doesn't take the initial piercing damage, but like. <laughs> Wait, did she just get iced by her own knife? Yeah. Self jank. We've spell. all been there. Mm. Ooh. Anything else to count them? No! <laughs> Sorry. Just tears. Only I tears. Love you. Cyborg! Give you, some berries. you could have used your D6 inspiration. <laughs> oh man, yeah, she could have. Holy. Um, <laughs> I would I would really like to get out of this box. Um mm -hmm. so oh, man. go ahead. So uh is it strength check or strength save? What's the can try and bust your way out, or it's a strength check. Oh, well, then let me just bust my way out. All right, so um, now I would make that attack at disadvantage? Yes. Hmm, okay. Uh, or a regular strength check. Which is oh, bizarre, because well, you imagine like yeah, a monk regular doing strength like check. All right, Brazilian so. jiu-jitsu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with his elbows. Bang up with his elbow, that'd be one thing. Yeah, right. Okay, so I think I clicked it, but come on. Did you? Oh, It'll be your inspiration oh. if you need it. Sweet Caroline. Me, me, me. Okay, that's a 12. Then I'm going to go ahead and burn my D6 because these have been, these have been going well. Uh, so let's roll that bad boy. Come on. Let's roll see. Roll 20's it. a bit slow. Though, I know, it? right? All right. Because oh. everyone's playing D and D on Friday night. Yeah, no Ooh. kidding, right? It's like, yeah, cool. Everyone's kids. everyone knows what's up. They're so, copying us. Cyvor is in the coffin and he's starts to humming to himself. He's like, hmm, 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 Rolling the dice. Okay. Hey, and with a 17, the um, coffin <laughs> lid flips up and onto the ground. I'm a plaid. I just All want right. to say hello, <laughs> hello to Elena's mum. 
<gasps> Amazing. All right. All right. Um, this is Claire's mom. Um, that was here with that. Claire's mom. That that action that's to my the strength check. That's my action. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so then, uh, and I probably can't take a, a, a I can't take a perception check around the room or just like is there a way out of here or it's dark, mm-hmm. isn't it? Uh, it's, it's pitch black. <laughs> Of course it is. Uh, so I so having so I draw both my weapons, shing, and my sword comes out, and it's got the fifteen feet of bright, fifteen feet of dim. Okay, yeah. Then you oh, see um, very hungry looking um, undead creatures surrounding you, reaching, beginning to reach out towards your warm life force, and you see Athelflaed in the corner, pinned down by three of them. <gasps> oh no! Okay, so then I'm going to take uh, if I can take the rest of my movement to get over to her. I would like to do that. But. Okay. Um, there's no way you can do it without provoking an attack of opportunity from both of them. From both of the creatures here. Yeah. It's like, where is this room? Oh, Sorry, you are hell. down here. I'll have to scroll oh, far oh, left. Oh, yeah, I do exist. Then. Okay. It's all the way over there. Wow. It's in the corner, guys. I, I, I was Have just you like, catched your corner? I was like, I was trying to sit here being like, oh, oh. I, I can visualize this theater of the mind. Holy okay. shit, those are you so many theater of the mind. <laughs> yeah. Only a few of them have popped open too. So, Cyborg, what you doing? You running past them? Um, I, ooh. yes, I would, I would like to. Oh, the love of slowness and. For all of my haste, my computer is slow. All right. So, um, yes, yeah, so I would like to try to move past them and to get right. to help Athelflaed. All right. Two attacks of opportunity. They try to life drain you. I have a natural one, and then I have a 19 to hit. Uh, the 19 will not hit. Really? Wait. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. No, because I, I didn't make an unarmed attack, so the 19 will hit. Okay. Um, eight points of necrotic damage, and I need a con save. Go ahead and move yourself and finish your turn. Uh, one second. I would like to use my maneuver to repost on the creature that hit me, or missed me, actually. Um, so I'm going to burn a superiority die, which is going to be a D8. And okay. then when a creature misses me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction and spend one superiority die to make a melee attack against it. Use the die as the thing. And so, do, uh, do my... an unarmed attack as well, because that would up your armor class. <laughs> yeah, right? No kidding. Unfortunately, I, I don't think I can. I don't think Peter's going. <laughs> yeah, can, can I do that, Peter, and kick him in the face? Um, face kick. Do you have two weapons drawn, or you just have the one? Absolutely, I do. With my dual wielder feet. The dual wielding feet. Okay, He's a dual wielding feet. He's a monk. That's what I look for, man. Feet. I think your unarmed strike <laughs> is very is dependent upon making attacks, right? Uh so so I can make the unarmed strike. Um, no, oh, that's that's a that's a good question. Your bonus action unarmed strike is dependent upon you making an attack yeah, using your attack was... action. Right, but I can right. just make an unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. Not if you're holding two weapons. With my feet. Feet. As a monk. Maybe I'm gonna I mean, say I mean, okay. You, you can call shenanigans if you want to call shenanigans. It, it feels I'm feeling Strong. like I'm I'm gonna find something when I look at the monk. He's been class doing it. He's bit, been doing it forever. I think, He's been whipping and then stabbing. No, 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 and then no, no, kicking. no. But that's always been on his yeah. turn. This yeah. is different because it's a reaction. <clears throat> Go yeah, ahead and do it true. right this now. That's fine. Go ahead. Um, okay, so for the superior, do I just roll a normal attack or I just roll a d20 and then add the uh, normal attack and then add the? Um... Thank you. All right, so uh, I will use. My sword. So. Seven minutes is all you. Yeah, need. no. Yeah, kidding. Yeah, no kidding, right? So that means then, if he did use the unarmed attack as his reaction for the one that missed him, then the one that hit him, his AC would have been up. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what. I, yeah, but Peter said I couldn't do that, or could I do that? Um. Sorry, this look, was the the repost was a ways back, but um, I. Yeah. Right. Uh, after, so um, I will say, I will say that's fine. Yes. Okay. Take your doggy back. So then I will, I will roll an unarmed strike then, and it, so the unarmed strike is a twenty-four plus the three, which is uh, twenty-seven. Okay. And does that hit the white? Um, 
It, uh, yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, damage on the unarmed strike is so. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Cyborg Roll Dice. All right, uh, nine, My favorite uh, nine damage on the whites that attacked me, and then because I was able to do the unarmed strike, that allows me to use my uh, Agile Parry, which bumps my bonus up two more. So it goes from 19 to 21, which means the second attack would not have hit, if you allow it, DM. Yes. All right. Um, you can refund, and I will add those on for the damage. I thank you, sir. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Uh, and then <laughs> that's going to be the end of my damn turn, because I've taken Here's a whole Cyborg. All right. Podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> As well, though. Oh. Didn't you want to move, though? That, that yeah, I'll, exactly. finish I'll, your mini. I'll do that. Like. Mm -hmm. oh. Just Waldo looks down at Akanta, who is the only person with him. Claire, where are you? And he stabs at the one that is attacking her. All right. Getting AC 22. <laughs> yeah. I did 35 points of damage. And the next one crumples beneath your blow as well. Jeswaldo looks at the moonbeam and looks at Akanta and says, don't let anybody walk past you. And I step over the body that uh, <laughs> is uh, right there. And you, you can't sorry, do that. What? That'll bring another one though, right? That'll bring another one. I can't do that. Okay. I'll just stand there. Okay. Elimus, it is your turn. Okay. Um, uh, Five, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, oop, 30. And I can see they're fighting a white. Uh, da, 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 da. I will look at the white and speak the words Animo of Kalata. Kalata. And cast Mind Sliver. Okay. Hopefully. Finding Nemo was it? One? Yep, that's the one. Where is, is it? it a save? Uh, intelligence save. This uh, 17. I have a natural 17 for a 17. Okay. Uh, 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 you take five damage. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Thank you. Ethel Flad, you're surrounded by these creatures. Hello. What you doing, Alpha Flad? Uh, apparently, I'm just muting myself all the time. The the top one's the one that I sh that I shanked before, right? Yes. All right. Then I will shoot and shank. Make it a crafty. I will for a crafty. And that first one. Ooh, definitely a hit. <laughs> um. Reading that spell, I don't, I don't know if it takes half damage or not. Can anyone confirm? I've posted it in thingy. Um, nothing no. says save for half, so if it saves, no damage. Okay. Next so attack, Alpha Flood. It is still standing after that strike. Speak up, we can barely hear you. That's better. As I eat my microphone. Best. I'm going to go get some more wine. Do it. All right. Roll that damage on 21. I was going to say 21. So a nine. Nine. It seems barely standing. Bastard. Okay. And unless okay. you have something else, it's going to retaliate. No, I have nothing. All right. Three life drains, 22, 6, and 18. Uh, two hit. 
All right. Two eighteen. Two con saves, please. <laughs> Good. Oh, it's is it doing my plus one for saves? Um, I don't have a way of telling. What's your Constitution okay. score? It's a. Ooh. It's a plus. So it's not. So actually, so it's. I rolled a twenty-two and a fifteen. Okay, they both save. It wouldn't have made a difference on the first one. So. Well, oh, okay. Yay. Um. Did you then, not um add um Arjun Voss's blessing in? I did on D and D Beyond, which is why I remembered. But yeah. it's not showing up oh, when weird. I hold over. Huh. Okay. Um, make sure if it's a thing you have to attune to that it is attuned. And yeah. Athelflaed, you, I have a twenty to hit on for the longsword for eleven points of slashing damage. Uh, and then two natural ones. Aha! Beat that. Uh, Cyborg, how long does your um, hit point bonus last? Or your AC bonus? It lasts until the start of my next turn. All right. Well, they're going to try and life drain you. <laughs> why, why do you ask? 14 and 22 coming at you. Uh, ooh. Oh, I already You've already that. used your reaction. I, yeah, you, I sure did, you saucy minx. Uh, okay, yeah, so the 14 will miss, but the 22 will hit. Eight points of necrotic damage and need a con save. This one will bust out. Only has one attack to go at. 16, I believe, misses. Another one comes out. All right. 14 misses. And the two... Maris, are you still in the box? I'm still in the box. What's okay. in the box? Right. It's in pop the box, out it's Maris. Five or just you start looking around. The D4. Your saves, yeah. yeah. Okay. So... He hears the voice in his head. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ouch. That, that con save was a four, and then my D4 was a one. All right, so... You take Ouch. eight points of necrotic damage. Your hit point max is reduced by eight. It is Maris' turn. Right. Oh, nope. One more attack again. Two attacks against just Waldo first. Um, 15, and let's see if... 21 hit just Waldo? Probably not. Nope. Uh, so Mar I'm assuming that Maris is out of the 30 feet range, she but that just drops range. me to 21 AC. Oh, so that hits. would hit, but I will oh. use uh, Defensive Duelist to make it not hit. Great. Maris, it's your turn. Great. I would like to try to escape my box. Okay. Attacking or... <laughs> I'll try pushing. to make another strength check. All right, go ahead. Jeez. Hmm. So fun. Ooh, 19. 19. You guys see another lid of the coffin. <laughs> Fly open as... <gasps> Maris. Dun, 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 All right, Maris, anything else? What, uh, you use your action, anything else? Uh, stupid, let's see. Who's got the symbol? I, do I have, I have it, right? Okay, good. You do. But it requires an action. I yeah. Mm -hmm. That is true. That is true. Um, can I do a healing word? Does someone need? Yeah, you can do healing word. A little bit healthy poo. Like it's necessary. Uh, Athel, Cyvor. Either one of Athel. Thanks for right. Athel. Yeah. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All, right, All right, go ahead and roll that, and it'll be Claire's turn. I've lost almost okay. 45 HP. Well, I'm going to run over here screaming, or not screaming, because that would be dumb in this situation. I'm right here, just Walt of Christ, what's going on? Um, and I think I'm, it's going to incur disadvantage, but I'm going to try to sort of like swipe around the corner with my sword here. Um, okay. It's not, right, uh, we it's said not that's disadvantage. disadvantage. He has oh, a it's not? bonus to his AC, but it's. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. But, I got you seven points of healing. How about like a 17 to hit? 17 does it. Go ahead. Go ahead. And uh, that's uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. And uh, if it's still up, I will hit again or attempt to. Uh, la 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 la. And even more. 
19, great. Have another 10 slashing damage. 10 slashing. Yeah. And I asked Jeswaldo, what the fuck is going on? Where did everyone go? At this point, you turn into a white. Turn into one. Turn. That's what it looks like. Ah, uh, Kanta. You know that would mean we're killing our friends, right? Oh. Someone should have yelled louder. Um, you should have yelled what louder? I believe Akantha's. She had to make. She should have made two con saves, I believe. To uh, I'm trying to remember for the moonbeam because the moonbeam's still up. I forgot about it. Uh, um, I make a con save. I know the creature makes a con save. No, you have you got hit twice and it's a concentration twice, spell. So we gotta make sure you're still concentrating on it. Oh, there's one. You're good? Pew. And you're good. Alright. Yes. In that case, um, a little bit retroactively, Claire, you're a little bit like as the creature doesn't fall, but um with the moonbeam damage, um, it will be enough to see this creature phase into nothing. Yes. That can't be that. Is there any way to find people that we've lost? Um, at the end of my turn, wait, did this, the damage happen on Akatha's turn or was that at retroactive? It is retroactive and it okay. finished it off. So. so I, no, that's a horrible idea. I literally have no idea. Go for it. Do we just walk in? I was going to ask if it was actually It's either that or try to find them some other way. Fuck it. I take my last five feet of movement to slip by and do I go poof? You do. That's where you step? Uh, yeah. Right into uh, okay. there. Make a con save first. Mm. Okay. Um... 22. Okay, I believe. Uh, Akantha, could you roll 3d10, please? And you appear. Voop, in a and She wouldn't willingly walk into a spell, yeah, Peter. That's fine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I. <laughs> if you weave your way around, you will avoid the. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and. It appears there, and then takes the damage of 13. All right. Can anyone hear me? You guys hear Claire yes, yell up. that from inside. Ah. <laughs> Claire, be quiet. And then, Akantha, it is your turn. Your moonbeam is still shining bright, burning away that white. Okay. Did a creepy bad guy just appear inside of it? Yes. Okay, so is he is he roasting and screaming like he yeah, should be? Yeah, it is, yes. yep. Mm -hmm. I took that 13 damage. Okay. Um, what would happen if I ran past him into the into the light? Can I can I run into the portal? You would probably disappear. But I would wind up where Aether Flight and everyone else is. And potentially you don't, do you, you don't have to have you, you have just... to have um, eye contact or be within a certain distance of your spell? It's concentration. I don't, I don't think it you need to, so. But then doesn't that leave Jade by himself? No, I'm still here, but it brings yeah, another white to fine. us. Yeah. Okay. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay. Um so that moonbeam's still going in effect. It only lasts, it doesn't last forever, does it? Uh, you have a minute of it, so you have probably seven more rounds. Oh, sweet. Yeah, never mind. Then let's try, sorry, I'm trying to figure out which one is not ice knife. That does not. I'm just gonna screw it. You know what? Just fuck it. I'm gonna cast infestation. Okay. 
have too many spells. You can never ever say that. <laughs> Constitution save on their point. Part. Yes. Eat those fleas. <clears throat> What'd you get the, for taking my friends? The um, bugs start to <laughs> crawl all around him and it just <laughs> kind of laughs and <laughs> crunches down on one. And you can see crawling out of its ears and then in under its eye sockets. It seems to be paying no attention to the infestation. It seems to be immune. It's okay. You just you just wait. Anything else for Akanta? Unless you have a bonus action spell. Uh, well, no, probably not because you used that spell. So uh, I believe yeah. that's all you can do with your action economy, unless you yeah, wild shape. All right. Cyvor. Yeah, I muted my son. <laughs> here, I I was, here I thought I was explaining myself so well. Um, so <laughs> the two that pursued me from before and then the two that, that burst out of the coffins are the ones that have burst out of the coffins, are they attacking me or are they still in the process of getting out of their coffins? They have stood up. Okay. Okay. So uh, the four that are around me, I'm going to go ahead and attack the one that I hit with my reaction from before. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit him with my short sword, first and foremost. Uh, and then he said, waiting for the D and the D. Oof. Oh, friends. All right. <laughs> the person who can do absolutely the most on any turn has absolutely the slowest. Oh my god! This, <laughs> this is hell. This is. I see the first one. So twenty-two. That's hits. Mondays. Yeah, I was like, that's Monday night. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah there it is. There it is. All right. So twenty-two hits. Yep. Lovely. Do that damage. All right, you know, so. eventually. What was you that? Roll it three times, and then we can let them all pop up and then adjudicate. Well, if that, that happens, that might be better. That sounds fair. That sounds that sounds legit. All right. Or however so, many attacks you have, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, just you wait. Um, just so. you wait. Uh, okay. Hey. Uh, whip, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw another unarmored strike in there. Uh, as a bonus action. Okay, both the top two will hit. Lovely. Do you mind me clicking your damage values for you? Because oh dear God, please do. Right. please do. So both like, of these will hit. Anything we'll have you can do. Five and five for ten damage to start. Great. So hang on. So the first one hits the one that I hit with the reaction. Then, uh -huh. I'm gonna go, then the the other two are going to hit the other uh, two more that are around me. You have a twelve to hit, and then an eighteen. All right. Did any, ooh, Are you going with the twelve? That's what I was. That's why I was pausing. No. So, so the it should be Moon Touch Short Sword, which was uh, twenty one. The whip uh -huh. was eighteen, and then the unarmed strike was eighteen. Gotcha. All right, that rolled again. Max and eighteen hits for seven points of bludgeoning. Fantastic. And so uh, the first one goes to the guy who I hit with my reaction. The other two go to the ones that are like next to him. Next to him, all three make a con save for stunning strike. Oh wow. Okay. So you have four of them around you, right? I do. I do have four of them around me. I'm popular like that. Okay. Um, con saves. Do, do, do. Okay, good to know. Con save. One, two, three, four. I've got a 12, a 21, a 17, and a 15. Okay, good. Uh, oh, sorry. I was only three. Uh, only three. That's what I was wondering. So which ones no, no. do you want to do? Yeah, because I've only made three attacks so far. Yeah. Uh, I'm now going to action surge and do okay. that exact same thing again. So uh, three attacks. Uh, however, the one, so the 12 failed. So this attack has made it advantage. Okay. So I'll have that be the short sword, which was the one who hit the guy to begin with. Yep. That's, oh, that, that would be this one. Here we go. Uh, and then the other two were able to, oh, uh, well, wow. 
Uh, I imagine 11 is not going to hit him, right? 11 is not going to hit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but he is um, stunned. And mm -hmm. then the other two, I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing as before. And do a wave The two attack. unstunned ones? Yes, on the two unstunned ones. Okay, gotcha. All right, two more attacks. Roll them. And I'm going to... Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying, DM. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and switch to another computer during the six-second break that it takes All me right. to get to the other one. So, whip, unarmed strike. Will you be using a bonus action just so we can plan ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unarmed strike is the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Because uh, action surge only allows me to get an action in, yes? Not right. an additional bonus action. Correct. I, so uh, if, I, if you use the bonus way. action, I just forgot. I was just asking. Cool. All righty. That's what the unarmed strike was. Up, are you? Okay. We'll just wait for them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Click it again. Uh, let's see. Okay, Jeswaldo, why don't you go ahead and start your turn, and we'll adjudicate the rest of this. In a bit. Is there a white Please up go. here? There is. Behind it's in the, the moonbeam. Yes. So if I move into the light, uh, uh, move in front of a Kanta, it will bring another white. I guess the question is, is that then one less white they have to deal with and one more sword they have to help? Or do I just stay here and... Are you... Go ahead and roll those attacks again, Cyborg. We'll hmm? see it. So are you asking if two wrongs make a white? <laughs> you already used that joke. <laughs> oh, but I no. laughed even so. <laughs> yeah, you may be white. I see a 23 to hit. So there that is, is a hit. All right. I'll apply the damage. Yeah. And against the other one, I see an 11, so. Yeah, no, well, okay. So the first attack was 11, which missed. The second attack was the 21 that hit. So one of the other two whites that passed their con save, please make them make another con save to see if they are stunned. Yes, indeed. And, and I have then... a six for, and they are both, They you have three stunned whites. Okay, lovely. So three stunned whites, and then I am done. Sounds like a nursery rhyme. All right, just All right. So I, turn, I, I look over my shoulder and I say to him, is there any way you can track me? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I attack the white. <laughs> Hitting AC 18. Hits. I did 29 points of piercing damage. This one you didn't quite kill. Right. Very nearly. But you staying put where you are? I am. Elimus, it's your turn. Um, obviously, we fought these before. Did I... Um, I can't remember, but Elimus would... Ray of Frost, would that hurt these? Um, you have not noticed a um, resistance to cold damage. Okay, I will shoot you. You also front. noticed it from the spell that Akanta cast. Okay. That will hit... <clears throat> A 17 damage. Ooh, that's a big ray of frost. Oh, yeah. Third third tier cantrips now. Yep. And it freezes into an icicle and begins to crack apart. Anything else for Elimus? We need to go. Athelflaed, you're up. Well, make sure I'm not muted. Um, I will stabity stab again with that very top one because that bastard has to drop at some point. You bastard. Stab at him and say you bastard. Does the 19 hit him? Uh, 19 does. Is he still standing? With 10 he points of piercing? He is not. That will do it for the first foe in your face. God. Face foe. Um, then I will go to that number two, the one 
directly in front of me, and I will take my second action attack thing and stab at him for an 18. 18 will hit. Yay, with 11. 11 points. Beautiful. Two strikes. Anything else on your turn? Nope, I think it is nope. nope. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's... Yep. Nope. Their turn. This one's dead. Doesn't need to do a thing. All right. <laughs> Maris, two of them close in on you. Intent on draining your life. I have an 11 and an 18 to hit. Does 18 hit you, Maris? Uh, I don't believe it does. Wow. <laughs> I know, right? That's Congrats. what you get when you're level 100. All right. Longsword, 21 hits, right? 21 does hit right, even 12 at level points. 100. <laughs> 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Cyborg, I can attack one. One of these attacks you 12 and 16 will both miss. Then Teresa, six, double sixes on the life drains, 18 and 22 on longsword strikes. Do both hit? Yes. Total of 19 slashing damage. Don't like that. One more emerges from its coffin. Cool. Maris's turn. Okay, so I am going to cast Turn Undead. There you go. Beep boop bop. What is the range? Is it 60 feet or 30? Ooh, 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 there's so many little things popping up. <laughs> Sorry, I get all these like because I can't roll on the roll 20. Yeah. Um, I do. There's all these weird things. Okay. It is. Let me find it. It should be on features and traits, correct? Yeah. It's under your actions. Probably. Okay. Great. Channel divinity turn undead under your actions. Dope. Oh, okay. Yes. So 30 feet. No, just 30. kidding. Still 30. Yeah. 30 feet. <laughs> okay. So you will not get the ones by Athelflaed, but you will get the rest. Okay. Uh, your save is 16 now, mm -hmm. I believe. Okay. Yep. The one, the two next to you fail. Okay. The two next to Cyvor, the the five next to Cyvor, I should say. Uh, fail, 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 fail. They all fail. Great. They are all turned. 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 They got turned. Hell yeah. Turned up for what? <laughs> <laughs> Anything <laughs> else for Maris? Uh, she just kind of like, yes. Because <laughs> she was so disappointed with herself earlier. Claire, it's your turn. Alrighty. I would like to attempt to uh, scooch out of this uh, coffin. Strength check or um, active disadvantage. I... Any attack is at disadvantage? Yes. Yeah? Okay. You are effectively restrained in here. Okay. So... I am gonna... I don't know. Um, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast my way out. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I can't do... <laughs> Just, oh, that wasn't supposed to be at advantage. That was supposed to be a disadvantage. Right, so, so I guess 16. 16. <laughs> Roll your damage. Five. I get to do this three times now, by the you way. You do. <laughs> you blast about half of what you need to away. Okay. How about a 20? Yep. No, 14. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Roll the damage. Let's see. Eight. Almost there. <laughs> okay. Let's do this again. Um... I don't know why I did it that way, but an eight. And you're out. Pew, pew, pew. Hmm. All right. You all see Claire stand up from Stand up. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> well, that's that was my action. So um, I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm going to uh, step forward out of my okay. coffin and just uh, hang tight. All right. Uh, Akanta. What she doing? Snake. She's muted. 
Akanta, you're muted. <laughs> oh, I, I understood that and I didn't even hear you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I, I said meow mix. Yeah. Um, That's my favorite swear. <laughs> meow mix. <laughs> meow mix. <laughs> Uh, they, we have no bad guys around us currently. So who next to me is injured? I forgot, so, okay. I forgot to mention this. Um, when there's dead. You hear a woman's voice from down in the darkness of this tomb area here that says, go away, you're not welcome. What area is that coming from? From down in here. Oofta, okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh... Got time for you, witch in a box? Mm -hmm. It's a witch in a box. It's a witch in a box. Does anybody next to me look hurt? hurt just all the <laughs> no, we're good, we're fine. So the question is, do we go to help our friends? And at this point we need we can kind of meta, I think. Uh -huh. I, I I mean I, I I cast a spell but I was gonna my move action I was hoping to try and pull you both at the same time into the square. But obviously I know we're rushed for time so it kinda moved on quickly. But I don't know if I could have pulled them both in to the square at the same time. Uh we could try it on your turn, but I mean so what happens? Yeah, so let's th let's stick this out. Let's stick this out. We move into there, we bring in th three more whites that have no targets that begin to walk around and alert everything here that we're here. That's a problem. I can't go. Where, where do you want me to go? In there? But then you're all alone. I'll stay. I'm, I'm sure we can handle it. They're big boys. Okay, okay. 18! And I'm gonna run and just jump. But my, my name starts with an E. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think she said E. E team. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And my yeah. name starts with an A. Another one appears. Akanta, you're in a very dark box. It's scary. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's a gnome in a box. It's a gnome in a box. Somebody won the crane. A gnome in a box. Yay, yay. <laughs> It is a full size box though, so you are not restrained. <laughs> kind of comfy. I could almost turn this into a hotel. It's like a mansion. Put a gnome in that box. What are you doing with your action? Um, what can I do to break out of said box? Strength check or making an attack? Let's go strength check. If I were to set it on fire, you would burn. <laughs> okay, we're going to make a strength check. Yeah, learn from okay. the ice knife. <laughs> and. and <laughs> Ice Shush. knife throwing houses at people. <laughs> okay. I never not, said I God is going, going violent. <laughs> not quite enough to push open the lid. Being Learn fired from, from a bow as a snake. Okay. Oh, it's a great idea. Unless it's... you have a bonus action you're using, it is Cyborg's turn. Yeah, that's it. Cyborg. <laughs> hey, friends. All right. So. DM, which of the whites around me, oh, well, actually, all the whites around me have been turned, correct? Correct. Correct. Uh, all right, then. Yeah, all of, every single one of them is turned. All right, and then, so, uh, so the, but they're going to try to move away from Maris. Yes. Are, are, and, and are any of the ones in front of Athelflaed turned? No. Nope. Well, then. Uh, <laughs> well, so then, then. I'm going to move over here. Is that, am I going to get an AOE or? Nope. No. Lovely. All right then, so uh, I'm gonna start carving into these bastards. Attack of opportunity. Oh, go ahead. Attack of opportunity. Um, yeah, so, uh, all right. And look, friends, a computer that actually runs. All right, so first attack. Yay! This is a crit? Yay! Wow, I want your is it? Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. All right, cool, nice, so yay. 16 points of damage, cool. Yeah. 14. Points of damage. <laughs> I mean, no, you can give me sixteen. Oh my yeah, God. no. All right, cool. So uh, that will hit, and then uh, it will hit, and then the second uh, whip attack will go. Crack that whip. Flanking. Does a thirteen go hit? 
Do we do um, flanking? No flanking. <sighs> 13 will not hit. Uh, 13 will not hit. Okay. Then uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh. Excuse me? <laughs> Ooh, was my uh, exact uh, reaction to that. Hello! Don't, uh, don't get a hernia. Yeah, right. Right. It's this is this, these are all my monkey uh, breathing exercises that I do. Your ujai, ujai breaths. <laughs> Your ujai breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that'd, be, yeah. That'd be very yeah. distracting yeah. in a class, but like, <laughs> yeah. it's all you. This is this is my way. <laughs> This Same. is the way. This is his, it's oh, his process, God. you guys. Right. Your Ujjayi is a little too present. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Maris. All right. I think you're clenching your vocal folds too much. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. What, what um, else is that sub level doing? pressure, dude? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead so and make... Yeah, I, yeah, no, I really... I really want to really help my friend. So I'm going to go ahead and burn a uh, key point and do... Flurry of blows. 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 Uh, which, <laughs> oof, first one's a miss with a nine, second one's a hit with a 24, I imagine. 24 hits. Great, so I want that to hit the other guy. Uh, so, um, okay. yep. Yeah, yep, yep. That's an eight. And then I'm going to use one of my maneuvers to go ahead and do a uh, a trip attack. So when I make an attack with a weapon, I can expend a superior die and add the damage to the total, or add the roll to the damage. And then uh, you must make a strength saving throw. On a failure, it's knocked prone. Can you make, um, you can't do, Flurry of Blows specifies an unarmed attack, correct? Ah, uh, you saucy minx. Yes, it does. Yeah, Flurry of Blows. Well, actually? can say. Okay, yeah, I'm can say. So my, my unarmed Flurry blows are a melee attack, martial arts. So, after uh, to make two, uh, monks. it specifically says uh, make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. So, you are correct, sir. It is unarmed strike. So, so it's not a weapon attack. Fair enough. So then, uh, enough. then uh, let me go ahead and burn a key point to make one of them uh, make a stun save. All right. You know, we're probably not going to get any rests between now and having to fight Strahd. Just going to throw it out there. Oh, I know. I got a 19. I'm going to use all oh, of sleep. my berries. <laughs> all right. Oofta. All right. Thus, Elimus is using cantrips. Jeswaldo. Cool. And I'm reserving my smites. I'm going to stab it. I'm going to stab it. I'm going to stab it. This one's fresh. <laughs> I look at... Uh, um, uh, Elimus, I said, I'm not going anywhere. And I, ooh, having some trouble here with the D and D beyonds. Uh oh. Give me a few seconds while I wait for things to load. So, how's everybody enjoying the game so far? Oh Starting off strong. So we are doing a giveaway. I'm, I'm not having a good oh, yeah, time. Yeah, giveaway. Okay, giveaway. Yeah, everybody's playing D&D tonight. Exclamation point saying. giveaway, friends. Oh, yeah. I mean, stuff away. I'm giving away my HP. That's what I'm giving away. <laughs> yeah. Give it away. Give it away. Yeah. Give it away now. Give it away. Now. <laughs> give it away. Give it away. Give Man, it away now. now, this group vamps. That's amazing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He said he wanted wow. vamps. So we he got said vamps. he wanted vamps, so we're vamping. It's the half elf club. <laughs> of course okay. we got vamps. It's Strahd, mean, after all. Exactly. Hey. Boo -boo. Bam, 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 bam. I'm so hey. glad I was able to lift the mood with the. With the... <laughs> all right. I mean, this I'm dying. Work. It's Here fine. We go. I'm dying in a random dark hole. I just want to say it's a proud what? moment I mean, for Lord of Stupid. Life, right? <laughs> right? Elena, <laughs> Elena's mum has followed the channel. Uh, it's a proud <gasps> I, I oh my think, god, it's yes! 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 Elena Mom! I think Elena's mom needs to join the uh, join the giveaway and win the t-shirt. So I just rolled a natural one, friends, um, and we're going to just leave it at that. You rolled a natural one on a luck play. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Elimus. Glad you all, we all waited for that. That, was, like, that was awesome. Are you trying to hit? Uh, okay, I will also roll a natural one, no doubt. Uh, 28 to hit. Oh yeah, roll the damage. 
It looked like a natural one for a second, and then it looked like oh somebody went God. in and like moved it. Six, how did you do that? How did one, two, three. three. Saloon. Six damage. Wow. Wow. Six damage. Athel flood. <sighs> Athel bad bitch. Am I right? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just take that back and say no? I'm not a bad bitch. No, you are a bad bitch. I'm sorry. It just didn't feel like the right moment. It just came out. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Hey, um. Um. Uh, <laughs> it, clack it, roll for attack. Drinks yes. aggressively. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Two crits. <laughs> <gasps> Two natural 20s in a row. Holy crap. Hey. That's, that's what we didn't uh, see. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take credit for that with my there. natural one. To yeah. sort of pass the luck on. And here we go. <gasps> That makes me feel better. All those damages, Athelflaed. <laughs> okay, so 13. 13. You almost certainly kill it with the second blow, yes. Yeah, so the 23 second total. one crumbles beneath your mighty series of short, short, short sword strikes. Short, short strikes. Short sword strikes. All right. <laughs> That's fun. Anything else from Athelflaed? <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Uh, I, you know what? I want to step on it with my foot, the little crumbly dust, and really just grind it in really fast. You do really so. Mad. Takes half your movement. Spinor's stomach rumbles. Um, you <laughs> after seeing you do that, it the one that is not turned makes two attacks. I've got a ten and an eighteen. The eighteen hits, I think, right? A 10 and an 18? Yes. 18. 18 10 hits. points of slashing damage. Bastards. The others that aren't stunned just start running. Attack of opportunity! Do you? With a spell! <laughs> turned! Turned! Oh, turned. I don't care. I, do you, I'm gonna, I want to have work. No, I love it. You do I have do. Warcaster. I've been sitting on Warcasters since the beginning. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> I've been waiting for the opportunity to do this since literally the first session. Because no it. one ever runs away from me. So they don't <laughs> are usually dead. She kills them first. Yeah. <laughs> They're usually dead before they can run. Um, in theory, it might be rolling. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe. Lobster. Yeah. Did it happen? That's a oh you Oh, did 17. 17 was the first one. Um, so that and spell, that was with well no so booming blade, Ooh, booming blade with with gotcha. a rapier attack that um, hits so an additional longsword um, attack stuff so as I hit it it takes nine damage and then as it moves away. It takes another 16 thunder damage. Look how happy she is. Uh, 10, 10 and 17 were the first roll. Uh, no, so, uh, oh yeah, so 10 plus 9 plus 16. 27. 27. Pl uh, 20, uh, 27. Oh. Plus yeah. the 9. Plus the 16. Because yep. the second oh, damage oh, happens when 30, it moves. 36 points of damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's cool. I've been waiting. <laughs> Guess, yeah. I've got a 22 to life drain Cyvor after Don't that. worry, guys. You've got plenty Sorry. of that coming in the next campaign. <laughs> yeah. Seven yeah, points of necrotic yeah. damage. Make a con save, please. Uh, and Maris's turn. Yay! Um, okay. Sir, what I would like to do... Oh, and you hear um, oh. that, that voice again lilting. You really should leave here. Is what... 17 just on that con that save? Happening. You're good. Now it's Maris' turn. Okay, so I will cast Bless. Oh, God. Um, well, what? I say, we're already up to 63 viewers, and then the gil uh, the Gilded Trolls just raided with 14. Welcome, guys. Oh. Thank ah. you very, very oh, much free. for the raid. Much appreciated. Um, we are doing a giveaway. Exclamation mark giveaway. Do it. We're fighting Do with. Do it. Turn down for white, am I right? Silly English wickets. Yes. Thank you. Uh, beep boop bop. So I'm a robot. <laughs> I'm, a robot. <laughs> I'm computing. Sorry. Okay. Um, I'm not. So, la la la. So I can see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have so many things happening. La, la, la. Okay. You have four allies One, two, visible. Three, four, five. Yes. So that makes a difference which level I cast. 
So I... 60% sound effect. (laughs) Where? So I will cast at level three. Wait, did I not get a turn? Oh no, Maris goes before me. Never mind. Sorry, I got confused. Sorry, I'm just going to shut up. Level four. Three, four. Level four bless yeah. goes off. You all feel empowered by salute. <laughs> <laughs> salute. <laughs> and it is Claire's turn. All right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go flank with Cyvor. Not that actually flanking does anything. Um, and I'm going to smack at the guy that I smacked earlier. Um, and oh. wait, which are the ones that are, st- no, no, I should, I, which are the ones that are stunned? These uh, ones over here? Well, um, yeah, we got the black faces. These, these three, the, the ones that didn't move. Yeah. They also shouldn't be stunned anymore, Peter. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's my turn. Point, then. Okay. No problem. So, a uh, little, 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 uh, 15 to hit. Hits. Okay. The one you hit first or the one between? You said the one between. Got yeah, the, this one over here. Uh, uh, okay. So seven slashy slashing damage. Boom, done. Uh, still up? Yeah. Okay. I that one was uninjured. And no what? One oh, I meant the one that I was. I had hit. Did that die already? That was this one. That Well, uh, that's what I meant. I meant this one. Sorry, I didn't know thinking. why you were hitting that one. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so two, he has uh, seven damage. He is very bad looking. Okay, I I, I try again. Very, very try bad. again. Very good. <laughs> uh, 16 is a hit, I think. You cannot not kill it. Awesome. It crumples beneath that last blow into a dusty pile of bones. <laughs> Slash it down. <laughs> You cannot not kill. I know, I'm like, this is like, a, it's like going to the farmer's market for Cyborg. <laughs> you you yeah, okay, Cyborg? I'm like covered in that like powdered frosting on donuts, but it's just like. His belly's rumbling. I can't say you're, <laughs> you're trapped in the coffin. All right, let me out, let me out. Moping. Let us in, let us in. <laughs> oh my God, yes, no. thank you. Strength check, or you could try to attack your way out. Uh, the only thing that won't hurt me back is I could try primal savagery. Little known, little known. Is that a cantrip? Yes. Yes. Yeah, do that then. <laughs> it's in a can't the cantrip. It's in a cantrip. It's in a cantrip. A can't trip. Yep. A can't There it goes. Trip. <laughs> Don't trip. But it is it, acid damage. It's a so. specifier. Creature. Yeah, well, I am. It's the wood. It's fine. I'll let it. Oh, well, you can <laughs> make you your wish, attack. I I I was was you got her in a box. <laughs> <laughs> she just gnomes her way out. <laughs> so, tw- 15 axis damage, so, like, just destroy it? It does. It crumples around you, hissing and burning away. You spray acid everywhere and it gets everyone, and they have to make a de- deck save. No! Not this time. Not alive us. <laughs> that is your action. Yes. The cavern and begins to free. fall on you. And... Oh my god! No. Alright, well, Cyborg. Listen, I only threw a house on you once. Mm. It's only a house. <laughs> Cyborg? Gotta finish the song. I think a lot about that scene. Cyborg is going to go ahead and attack uh, <laughs> this white right here, the one that's still able to attack Athelflaed. Sorry, okay. Cyborg, before you go, isn't there one more white that you need to attack with? No, it, wasn't, it wasn't their turn. And I. It wasn't? No. Oh, sorry. I did. I forgot to attack with one of them, and then I rolled them, and they were, it was very much a miss. So. Cyborg! All right, so, whip, short sword. Haru. Haru. We'll talk about that. Uh, so first, <laughs> short sword hits with a 20. Whip hits with a 24, I assume? Uh, that's yes. So that's eight and nine magical ouchies. Uh, okay. 
I'm assuming against the unturned one? Uh, yes, that's against the unturned one. Hey. Uh, uh, and then an unarmed strike as well, which I imagine starts off with like a, a whip crack and a slash and then like a stunning back kick. Hey. Yeah. It's 25 to hit and does eight more damage. Cool. So. Beautiful. Is that it? Boom. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. It's just Waldo. God, die! And I strike it for onesie. Luck blade! Feeling lucky. Punk. That would be a 20. All right. For it's... a total of 20, uh, 31. No. 27, 27 points of damage. <laughs> and it is a, a, a great strike. Um, it still has. Still hanging on by a few bits of sinew and tendon and such, but it is not long for this world the second time around. Elimus? So I just sort of duck out of the way as I uh, still have the blade in it. I will repeat. Oh, that was, that was just rolled off that natural <laughs> one. 30 to hit. Oh, yeah. 17 cold damage. This one again um, freezes solid and then begins to crackle and fall apart. And now, after that, we are in a situation now where what? What are you gonna do? I was gonna yeah. shoulder nudge Jeswaldo into the spot. Do you consent, Jeswaldo? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Based on the action that has happened, Jeswaldo, as you beam into here, you awake in this spot, and you are just laying in a box with the lid open. Well, that was easy. I stand up. Oh, <laughs> welcome oh, to the oh party! My <laughs> hey. Maris, are you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Where it's like I? not quite how I expected our uh, our honeymoon to be going. She, but... she turned them. Don't get, don't get Slash happy. I use the rest of my act movement to run over to Flappy. Maris and stand in front you of me. Slash happy. All right. You, let's see. The rest of you will, um, with all of these turned undead, um, going one by one, uh, we can call this here as no more will emerge. Um. <sighs> Assuming you will systematically cut them down now that enough of your party is here down in this dark, dark place. Um, I guess the question is, Alimus, do you go down or so do you stay? I look and nothing turns up and I, I just think that my hero moment become a bit dull. So I just step into the teleporter. Okay. Well, actually, Before I, you, I stay there and I look. As you are staying, you see. I call out to the figure. You You call out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see three women standing. Well, it's very dark, but the light, um, assuming you've cast light so you can see, um, it barely illuminates exquisite clothes, dresses of very different styles. And you see three women standing there bedecked in jewels. Behind the thing, yeah? Indeed, behind the portcullis. And they say, you should go. Who are you? <clears throat> I am beloved. Now, you should leave or I'll call the huntsman. Sounds like a spider. I don't like huntsman spiders. <clears throat> Who are the huntsmen? Enough questions. You're being impudent. Leave immediately. Where have they gone? Hmm. And she calls out, her voice growing louder. As she calls out, uh, excuse me, sorry. She calls out the name. General Kroval. We have a quarry. General, please. 
and behind you, you s- hear a the, the um, tomb door falls open and you see padding out slowly three no. canine figures, black fur, um, p- pieces of their skin torn away. There is um, spit just dripping to the ground. They slobber that in each drip hisses and their eyes glow red and a bit of fire begins to come about their mouth as they growl. And then an old armored man, nearly translucent, steps out. Time to hunt. <laughs> and that wouldn't that happen is... to have been tome number 38, was it? Mm-hmm. As they come around the corner, right next to you. Mm, do I get to cast a spell before Take they them do? them away. We go to next week and see what happens.